Hello, <laughs> hello everyone. How you doing? Welcome back to the TSD Club. <laughs> How is everyone today? Hello, Ryder! Hello, hello! Hello, monkey! I have crawled out the trash to be here. Trash panda! <laughs> welcome, welcome, Fold! Good to see you! Hi! <laughs> hello, mongoose! Welcome, welcome! Ah, uh, hello! How are you? Q Tianshi! Q Tianshi, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Hello, Inki. I am just monkey. <laughs> I'm doing well. How are you? Mm -hmm. Today is rather cold and dark where monkey is right now. So, trying to give myself some comfort beverages. <laughs> nice, warm, hot thing. apologize if my tone last stream was too harsh. Was a little stressed out. Oh, no problem at all. Well, I didn't think so at all. I hope you're feeling all right now, Mongoose. Mm -hmm. Eat vacation rider here. Ah, vacation rider. Nice, nice. <laughs> What's the word? Good luck with your vacation. That sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's always nice to take a little break, right? Mm-hmm. Good idea, I guess. Had some cake earlier. Oh, cake. Nice. Monkey likes cake. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed I only talk of food. <laughs> you and me both, Aniki. You and me both. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Speaking of only talking of food, the game that Monkey's like gonna play today, plan today, is um, is called Hot Pot for One. Mm -hmm. It's a game I've been interested in playing for a while because the theme really mm, sounds really interesting and touching to Monkey. It's just a small indie game. I think it was originally made for a school project, in fact, but. Called hot pot for one because um well for those of you who don't know actually I'll let them speak for themselves they have a good blurb hot pot for one there we go where do I find <clears throat> so we're talking in this case like a Chinese style hot pot I guess um let's see where is their official website there we go. It says, um... You are alone on a cold Christmas night, stuck at home in a foreign country. You get through it by cooking a hot dish intended for six people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's sort of the tag on their official website. And so yeah, hot pot is a dish that's generally... Um, it's a communal dish, a little bit like fondue. Um... Where you have a nice big pot in the center and you have lots of various things to dip into it. The pot's full of this delicious soup. And you dip in like meats and veggies and you cook them together. Generally with family and friends in a big group. And it's a really social, really fun kind of way of doing food. Um, and means a lot to a lot of people, I guess. And so... To Monkey, just the title Hot Pot for One evokes those feelings of loneliness, nostalgia, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And so I'm curious to give this game a try. Mm -hmm. Should be a short one, assuming Monkey doesn't get too sidetracked. <laughs> uh, I know we just started, but I did a thing for you yesterday. Oh! Please check monkey memes for it. Oh, okay, okay. Let me take a look. Monkey memes. Ah! <laughs> oh! Join the 
my tea cold... Cold today. <laughs> oh... We have potatoes, tangents... <laughs> Technical difficulties, shatter puns, sipping noises, pro gaming... I don't know about this one. <laughs> Compliment rejections, and much more. <laughs> Seen this monkey? Well, now you have potatoes. <laughs> See more of the monkey over on YouTube at Jinshino. Spread the word with hashtag love TNC. I don't know about this. <laughs> hashtag love TNC. Both mods and TNC are not responsible for the addiction risks and potential side effects of joining the T Club. <laughs> This is our new ad promotion poster. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Ryder. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. Did you happen to post it on Twitter as well? I can go retweet it if you did. Mm -hmm. Let me know. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. This is hilarious. <laughs> the tea cold. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Feels game. I hear the main mechanic is making the actual hot pot, but that there are uh, various story elements scattered throughout with like art and stuff that you can read. Mm -hmm. I'm not lonely, I'm just making lasagna for one. It's salty, kind of feel, I suppose. Ah, that makes sense. What you hadn't realized, is lasagna something that you're supposed to eat? That makes sense, because when you cook a lasagna, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. It's kind of that sort of feeling. But even more so, I don't know if lasagna has like... Celebratory, family coming together feelings? Mm -hmm. Hot pot definitely does. It's kind of like... Like saying, I'll have... Thing, uh, I'll have like Christmas roast for one, sort of thing. You get yourself a huge... Uh, chicken or turkey or goose, but you eat it by yourself, sort of thing. Yeah. A potluck dinner. <laughs> it's a little like a potluck. People don't usually bring their own stuff. It's usually just fresh stuff. <laughs> um, but I guess you could bring your own stuff too. But yeah, it has that feeling, that potluck feeling for sure. Where you're, everyone's reaching over the table and talking and... Dipping their hands into the thing at the same time. <laughs> In this case, chopsticks, but... Mm -hmm. Sits at the two table. Later, table for two? Just for one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Monkey does think that sometimes having food all by yourself can be a very nice experience. Mm -hmm. And some people really like it. But for Monkey, food is often a social experience. And I enjoy it the most when I have other people with me. Mm -hmm. Potatoes. Ah, potatoes, thank you. Ah, I have been summoned. <laughs> <laughs> the potatoes summoned the rin -chan. Hello, how's your day going so far? Hello, Hemoglobin. Hello, hello. Not too bad. Monkey's got a lot of things I still need to get done before the end of the week. But I'm taking it. I'm taking it as it comes. <laughs> and um, the day has been pretty, pretty cold and dark where Monkey is. So I'm warming myself up with hot beverages and other cozy things. Mm -hmm. I guess in this case, the game, the game sounds cozy but sad. <laughs> That's how I put it. You know what's up? Hello, Shatter. Welcome, welcome. 
welcome. Good to see you. Uh -huh. Not much, not much. Uh, today, uh, at least for right now, <laughs> my monkey has decided to drink you, so. Warm milk with sugar? Mm -hmm. I don't know if y'all do that. It's very tasty. <laughs> I'm in a Discord with a friend and I keep stuttering. He can't stop laughing. Help me. No. <laughs> Right? Laughing is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's a hot pot? Sorry for the silly question. Oh, no problem at all. No problem at all. It's not something that I expect everyone would know. It's a... But it's kind of a very... I don't know if I should say important, but very meaningful dish to a lot of people of... Um, Chinese heritage, maybe Mongolian heritage, because it originally comes from Mongolia. Um, Japan has a version called Shabu Shabu You might have heard of Hot Pot Chinese, literally translated from Chinese Huo Guo Well, I guess in Chinese that's Fire Pot Is, um... Is a style of meal, I guess you could say Where, in the center of the table You put a big hot pot of soup It's usually on a burner, which is I guess why it's Huo Guo there's actually a burner there, keeping the pot warm and boiling. Um, and so you have this soup broth in the middle. And then, on the side, you have things like thinly cut slices of meat, so that they will boil, they will cook quickly in the soup. And vegetables, and uh, like fish balls, and all sorts of things, all sorts of things, whatever sort of... I guess ingredients, soup ingredients you might want Um, and solid ingredients Um, and then sometimes you'll have a sauce of your own or rice if you like rice Um, sometimes there's noodles and stuff and they're all on the side, uncooked Fresh but uncooked And the meal, when you start the meal People just start grabbing what they want to eat And you dunk it into the hot soup um, in Japanese, it's called shabu shabu because the thinly sliced meats, they cook really quickly. And so, what you do is you pick them up with your chopsticks, you dunk them in the soup, and you kind of swish them around like a shabu shabu sort of feeling. <laughs> shabu shabu kind of automatopoeia. And then you pull it out pretty quickly, and then you can dip it in sauce and eat it. Um, and then the vegetables, some of them cook quick, but a lot of them you just kind of start tossing in. Um, and you wait for them to cook And then, um, once they start cooking through Then people just start pulling them out of the soup and eating And it's this continual process of Putting more things into the soup Either if you're gonna eat it right away or to cook for later Um, and then eating at the same time And it's very communal because everyone around the table re can reach the pot And put things in and pull things out And so you're all kind of in there together Um, and you kind of it feels very collaborative. I was like, oh, should I put in more of the uh, cabbages? Or should I put in more of the, um, I don't know, mushrooms? And, and oh, let's, let's put in some tofu. Or I'm gonna take this tofu. This tofu is mine. <laughs> and it's a very communal thing. So you're around this table together. And um, in Chinese culture, meals are very, very social to begin with. And so this just heightens that social aspect in a way um, There's a lot of talking and, and stuff It's often used uh, celebratory As a celebratory thing Because The ingredients, they need to be really fresh And stuff like that And so it's I don't know I, At least where Monkey is, it's kind of celebratory You have like, oh, you know Congratulations on this or that Let's go get hot pot <laughs> And you can do it at home, or they have restaurants that do hot pot. That's the traditional way. Nowadays, they actually do sell at restaurants these new hot pots for one. <laughs> it's very non-traditional, but it's like the new fad, um, where it's a pre-made hot pot, and you don't even dip things in yourself. It's just already put together. Mm. And those are quite delicious as well. But it doesn't quite have the same fi uh, feeling. Mm -hmm. So, for Monkey, Hot Pot is this really social, celebratory, um, um, 
good feelings kind of meal. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Traditional Italian dinners are like everyone even vaguely related to you, or so movies have taught me. <laughs> you might be right then, Mongoose. That seems... That seems relatively equivalent. Mm -hmm. uh, I did the Twitter post just now then. Okay, let me go get it real quick. Let's see, let's see. Official ad poster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so good! <laughs> oh, I like it, I like it! Uh -huh. Let's see. Let's um let's just retweet and like. There we go. <laughs> Spread the word about the tea club. Wait, what is this? Hashtag love team show hold up! Hmm <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Hmm... I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Thank you, Ryder. This is great. I love this. This is... This is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking at it. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Now we wait for Shatter's sign at the tent. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Only if you feel like it, Shatter. <laughs> it's a really funny idea though. <laughs> a big stew or casserole-like thing the whole, for the whole family or group of friends. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. It's a thing generally family and friends. Mm -hmm. It is a bit like a stew. But you're all doing it at the same time. Um, I don't know if... Uh, what cultures have fondue? I've heard it compared to fondue because you're dipping things into a central hot receptacle of liquid. It's not really the same. <laughs> it's not really the same, but I kind of see the resemblance. Um, I don't know if this helps or not, but if you've ever done Korean-style barbecue... Ogikui, I don't have, I don't, I don't have good pr Korean pronunciation, but Ogikui, I believe it is called. Um, <laughs> Korean style barbecue is kind of similar because it's uh, it's uh, also a hot plate that you put in the center, and everyone gets the various meats and stuff, and you grill it on the grill together. Mm hmm. And so. It's that sort of like cooking together feeling. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many cultures have this kind of thing, this sort of cooking together thing. Uh, but but uh, yeah. <laughs> At four, does it help if you write down what you want to say? Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. That's a good suggestion, Mongoose. You know, monkey. Monkey stutters sometimes, but it's never been a huge deal for Monkey because I'm the type who I guess mostly just pushes through <laughs> when I stutter. <laughs> and I know some other people who just do the same. But, uh, and people with, with stronger stutters than Monkey has who just do the same. But I know that's actually not viable for a lot of people, right? For some people that works out just fine, but for other people, uh, trying to push through doesn't really help. It might make things worse. So I get that, I get that. I guess I hadn't... <laughs> Monkey hadn't really been thinking about it very much. But yeah, writing things down definitely might help. I guess definitely will help is wrong to say. Mm -hmm. Not so much when Monkey is stuttering per se, but sometimes when Monkey has a hard time saying things in general, I guess. Sometimes Monkey has a hard time Saying what I want to say, you know, getting the words out for various reasons. Writing things down can help. Mm -hmm. That's a good, good suggestion. <laughs> Sorry, monkey's not very helpful, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, no, sadly, it's uncontrollable. It's a tick that I have. Mm -hmm. 
I understand, I understand. I know that. I know that. From my perspective, I probably can't say for sure what will help you. Um, I know there's a lot of things out there that help other people in terms of managing their stutter. Mm -hmm. And so I don't have I don't have a lot of expertise in that regard. Um, the the best I can say is something that again it's just it's just what helps monkey. Um, but it's not it sounds easy, but it's actually hard, I guess. Which is just don't focus on it. It's fine. It's fine if you stutter. There's nothing wrong with stuttering. Um, it's fine. And and the more you accept that, the more you find it's okay. It's like <clears throat> even if if, even if it takes you longer to get the information you want to say out than someone else, and even if that can be frustrating sometimes, that's totally fine. Because some people just talk slower than other people, right? And that's fine. So if your version of talking slower just happens to include stuttering, that's fine. And if other people want to make fun of you for it, it sucks, I know. I hate I hate when people make fun of other people. It's not very nice. But in the end <laughs> in the end, you just kinda gotta I don't know. The way Monkey deals with it is I just kinda laugh along sometimes. Um You kind of see the humor in it and you say, you know what, that's just the way it is. Or you just ignore it. Over time, over time you'll find at least Monkey found. That in this world, there's a lot of people who make fun of other people just because they're in a place in their life where that seems like it makes sense. Sometimes it seems like it makes sense, right? Mm hmm. Cause, cause that's just I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes people feel like making fun of other people, and that's not personal, even if it feels personal and it sucks. Mm hmm. Over time, they may change. Over time, they may not. Over time, you might find friends who make uh, who who don't make fun of you, and over time, you might find friends who do. And if it really bothers you, and they're a good friend, you can always talk to them about it. But one thing that helps is to try to understand within yourself, um, regardless of what other people feel, that your stutter is something that you're fine with. If you can be fine with it, then. Anyone who makes fun of you will get tired of it eventually. Because... If they make fun of you and you look at them like, I don't... I don't get it. <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> Over time, they, they'll start to realize, oh, maybe it isn't that funny, right? Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, if even if they never change, as long as you're comfortable with it, then... Making other people laugh is making other people laugh, right? Mm hmm As long as they're not malicious people, right? As long as it's not like they're... They're your friends, but they're making fun of you, but they're actually malicious, so it's actually a sign that maybe you should get... new friends. <laughs> but if they're friends who actually care about you, and they're just making fun of you because that's the kind of humor they have... Monkey's family's kind of like that. M Monkey's family has a lot of making fun of each other humor. And Monkey often gets to be the short end of the stick because I take it well, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes it's just okay to be, um, <laughs> for lack of a better word, to be the clown for other people, even if it's unintentional. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is how Monkey deals with things, and this is not the only way to deal with things. And if you want to get mad about it, if that's what makes you feel good, that's valid too. <laughs> Be careful when you get mad because you don't want to have that madness turn into something self-destructive. But if you want to get mad and you're just mad, then be mad. That's okay too. But this is how Monkey kind of... This is how Monkey kind of deals with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, because if you accept it, then it's not a problem, you know? It's not a problem at all. Mm -hmm. Some people stutter. Some people wear glasses. Some people... Mm, I don't know. <laughs> 
some people have flat feet. Mm -hmm. It's all just different ways that we are. Mm -hmm. Where was I? Do, 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 do. We have hot pots in the UK. Lancashire mostly. Oh, really? Lancashire. Is there a large Asian population there? Or did it just catch on? Hot pot Lancashire. I'm, I'm curious now. <laughs> Lancashire. Traditional Lancashire hot pot. Oh, this is different actually. Oh, very interesting. Lancashire hot pot is a stew originating from Lancashire. It's not Lancashire, is it? It's probably like Lancashire. <laughs> I, I, I know I probably... I have no idea how to pronounce UK place names, but I hear that's not uncommon. <laughs> so I'll go with Lancashire for now. Lancashire hot pot is a stew originating from Lancashire in the northwest of England. It consists of lamb or mutton... And, uh, m lamb or mutton... An onion, topped with sliced potatoes and baked in a heavy pot on a low heat. Ah, yeah! This is the kind of thing that one might call... In the US, I think you call anything baked in a dish like this a casserole. But that's a, it's a very circular term because we also call the dish a casserole dish. <laughs> oh, and I see you can make it as a deeper stew as well. Oh, that's that looks delicious. I'll have to try this. I've never tried this before. But I love that and I love the scalloped potatoes on top. I love potatoes. <laughs> I guess you knew that already. <laughs> I've never had a hot pot before. It seems so tasty though. It's so good. It's so good. Part of the fun of it is also that because it's for you and your family or you and your friends, you can get whatever you like and put it in the hot pot. If you like beef, get beef. If you like lamb, get lamb. If you like mushrooms, get mushrooms. Tofu, tofu. Mmm, Monkey really loves something called, um... Tong tofu. Uh, frozen tofu? Because it's frozen, so it has all these... It's kind of spongy. And so when you put it in the soup, it soaks it all up and becomes this sponge of tofu and soup. It's delicious. So you can find whatever you like. If you like cabbages or carrots. And you can throw it in the pot. And the soup base is not... Um, it's not determined either. There's lots of different soup bases. Japanese people sometimes go with a very simple uh, kombu soup base, only kombu, and let all of the other ingredients add to the flavor. Um, uh, spicy hot pot is very common and popular. There are herbal, like uh, Chinese herbal hot pots, uh, soup bases, and there's a lot of different kinds out there. So it's a lot of fun and it's really tasty. Mm -hmm. Everything cooked exactly how you like it Because you can put it in the hot soup for as long as you want And take it out whenever you want mm -hmm. uh, If we keep talking about food, I'ma get hungry <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry That is all Monkey ever talks about <laughs> I thought JP Hot Pot was the nabe stuff Reminds me, must try ochazuke Ah, yeah, yeah so, J Japanese hot pot. There are maybe two kinds of hot pot. Um, so, Japanese Chinese hot pot. <laughs> For lack of a better word. The Chinese style of hot pot that got imported to Japan is called shabu shabu. And they do a similar thing, but their soup base tends to be more Japanese. So, not spicy and more simple. Like the just the plain strip of kombu. Um... And so that, shabu shabu and Chinese hot pot are the same kind of style of meal. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, there is a Japanese traditional style hot pot that did not come from overseas. Um, that is cooked in what is called a donabe, which means a uh, clay pot. Nabe simply means pot, actually. Mm -hmm. So any dish or meal that is cooked in one of these pots, these clay pots, is called nabe. Um, however, um, there is a communal style of nabe where you put... You put it... You do it almost like Chinese hot pot, but you put in all the ingredients first 
and cook them together in the domabe. And then you bring it to the table. And sometimes it's on a burner, sometimes it's not, I think. Um, but um, as you pull things out and eat communally together from the same pot, um, you can also start putting in new things and having them cook into the soup as well. And so, but the, 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 the main similarity is having the pot in the center that everyone pulls from together. <laughs> and, uh, ochazuke. Mmm, monkey loves ochazuke. <laughs> ochazuke is kind of a... A very homey dish. Um, because... Mostly, it's kind of a way to... Eat your leftovers. Kind of like fried rice is kind of a way to eat your leftovers. It's where you have... Where you have your leftover rice and... Well, I guess... Yeah, I think it's leftover rice and then whatever other... Leftover things you have, fish or mushrooms or whatever. And then you pour... You pour tea over the top to make a soup out of it. You add some other flavors as well. It's very tasty. Monkey is a big fan. Mm -hmm. Big surprise, I guess. Since it's made with tea. <laughs> Very tasty. Mm -hmm. um, that's why it's called ochazuke. Ocha is like... Ocha is tea. O is just an honorific. Ta is tea. And then zuke. I never looked into it, but I get the feeling it's the same zuke as like... To be like marinated in. Uh, it might be a good translation. Uh, maybe I should look that up before I tell you wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> but that's monkey's take on what how, why it's called ochazuke. Let me see. Ochazuke. 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 Yeah, so um zuke is kind of it's more like tsukeru, tsukeru, which means is used for pickling, soaking, moistening, steeping. Mm -hmm. I thought that might be the case. Mm -hmm. I see. Seems fun. Though I can see me not able to eat uh, it as people put things I'm not into. <laughs> mm -hmm. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, you, you generally do it with people you're close to, so you can all kind of decide what you want to put in. And if there's something where you're like, if you put it in the soup, I won't be able to eat anything else from this soup. Then maybe you can negotiate that because you're with friends and family, right? If you say, I really can't stay in the taste of, I don't know, lamb. And so, I prefer if there was no lamb in the soup. Maybe you can talk about that. But since it's individual as well, as long as you don't mind it having been in the soup, then but not having to eat it yourself, that's also the beauty of it. If someone loves lamb and you love beef, for example. I'm talking meat because meat tends to... <laughs> Tends to feature heavily in hot pot. It is an auspicious food after all. <laughs> if you like one and they like the other, you can eat all the beef and they can eat all the lamb, and it's perfectly fine that way too. Mm -hmm. You don't have to eat everything that everyone else is eating. Mm -hmm. Hello, white bears. Welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. A good feels meal. Sounds lovely. Yeah, it's really nice. Fondue is much more nouveau-ish. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I thought it was kind of traditional. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, no, hot pot is more like stew in that it's... It's just a hearty thing that you can do at home. It's... It's celebratory because it's kind of fancy, but it's like... Kind of fancy even if you're not rich. You know, it's like the... Everyday, everyday person celebration food. Mm -hmm. Go have dinner. Have a good stream now. Oh, okay, have a good dinner, Ryder. Thank you for coming. Mm-hmm. Monkey is brave, monkey. Eh? Eh? <laughs> what makes me brave? Hmm. A good barbecue is a similar feeling, but there's usually a designated cook for that. Oh, oh. like an American-style barbecue, right? Which I hear is e sometimes it's a grill, sometimes it's a barbecue, but there's like one person cooking. Yeah, yeah. It'd be like 
it'd be like rather than having a bunch of people hanging out and socializing and waiting for the food to come out, you're all around the barbecue together. It's a nice big barbecue, and you're just putting things on and taking it off and like chatting over the food, cooking and eating at the same time. Maybe a little bit like if you go camping, I guess, and you're like all around the campfire, and you're like cooking things and eating it off the campfire together. Mm hmm. Hello, Na. How's it going? Hello, Best Squid. Welcome, welcome. Pretty good, pretty good. Kind of cold and dark where Monkey is, so I'm trying to warm up with cozy, warm, warm liquids and stuff. How about you, Best Squid? How are you doing? I developed a temporary tick once. Oh, only lasted the afternoon, but so exhausting. All my sympathy for what it's worth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. It can be really frustrating. It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, I don't know if I've ever had anything that... That... That bad, I guess? That disruptive? Mm-hmm. But, uh... Yeah, much sympathy. Mm -hmm. It's just embarrassing for me. Well, he's nice. He just never heard it before and it embarrassed me. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, Well, in that case, I'm glad... I'm glad that your friend is nice. And even though I can I understand that it can be a little embarrassing, it sounds like your friend was just a little bit surprised and and met that surprise with humor instead of ridicule, right? And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Mm-hmm. And so even though it was a little embarrassing in the moment, I think that's probably a good sign. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, hopefully. Mm-hmm. This friend is broken. I need a replacement. <laughs> Never say that in real life. <laughs> Lancashire. Yeah, Lancashire. Oh, thank you, thank you. That helps a little bit. Lancashire. <laughs> spicy sounds nice. Yeah, monkey likes spicy. <laughs> I must learn about these hot pots, though. Yeah! I totally recommend it. I totally recommend it. It's a wonderful thing. And it's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Nabe pa. Nabe pa. Equals it. Nabe pa. What's nabe pa? What's the pot mean? Equals it. <laughs> real pleasant food. And I say that with respect. Oh, real peasant food. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, yes. Have you noticed that peasant food tends to be the most tasty food sometimes? <laughs> Monkey's a big fan. Mm -hmm. All this food talk making me hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're gonna make you hungrier with this game, hopefully. I better get started on it, too. <laughs> um, otherwise, good tea needed, though. Ah, tea time. Mm -hmm. Uh, party. Ah! Monkey needs to get up on the slang. <laughs> Monkey's pretty bad with slang. Sounds good. Also, the reason a raccoon is my go to animal is because I tick up. A tick I have is the cooing sound of a raccoon. That's why I'm a raccoon. Oh, nice, nice! I like that, I like that! <laughs> mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've caught up to chat. Let's see if we can get the game on screen and get it started, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Ja ja! <laughs> Yeah, this is the sort of dark, <laughs> dark feeling Monkey has right now. <laughs> it's dark and cold. But we're gonna try and get cozy. Mm -hmm. I've seen videos of what peasants from medieval times would eat. There's some tasty stuff, lol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, humans, you guys do a good job of like... 
figuring out how to put stuff together in a way that's nutritious and tasty. I don't know if it's just a natural thing you guys do. But as long as you're not like caught up in trying to make it fancy in some way. <laughs> it makes it makes really good stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, now game quick before we distract you again. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Mock turtle soup is a cool one. It's young cow offal. Oh, I've never tried that. I'm not sure if I've heard of mock turtle soup. Interesting, interesting. How strange that mock turtle would be cow? I feel like turtle would have a more... A lighter taste than... Than... Than beef, right? But I don't know. I've never actually tried turtle, I think. Game hype! Game hype! <laughs> <laughs> Poor people had to make do with less. Some got very inventive. You know, I hear I hear that historians are starting to see starting to see that as a bit of a myth. Because in agricultural societies, for example, um poor people were the people most closely connected to the food network because the majority of poor people were farmers in agricultural society. And therefore, if you were poor, you actually had access to the tastiest, most nutritious, freshest food. Uh, for example, in Japan, uh, brown rice was the most common rice uh, amongst uh, most of the time because most peasants were, you know, growing their own rice and milling it to be white. Not only uh, was a way to um, one make it fancier because then it just tastes sweet and starchy, but also to preserve it so it could travel long distances because brown rice. Since it has the whole grain, it also has oils in it that cause it to go rancid faster. And so the local people actually were able to eat brown rice, which was very nutritious and, and flavorful. Whereas the rich people were like, oh, we have our very sweet, fluffy white rice, ho ho ho. Um, but because of that, and both are very tasty, monkey likes both. But because of that, poor people also got more nutritious food because they had the whole grain on it. Whereas the rich people sometimes had various nutrient deficiencies that they didn't know why or what they were because they weren't eating things like the white rice. Uh, sorry, the brown rice. Uh, furthermore, fresh veggies are a thing that is really hard to transport long distances, right? So it's kind of a... Uh, salads and things like that are sort of a benefit of either you're really rich or you live uh, really close to where that where those fresh veggies are being harvested. Um, and that either means you live somewhere like the Mediterranean, where there's just an abundance of fresh food, or you're one of the people who is part of the community, the peasant community, working the land and such. So, in some ways, uh, peasants might have had better food, more variety of food, and much healthier food than rich people throughout agricultural history. Pre-agricultural is a bit harder to say, and also like non-agricultural societies, like nomadic societies. I don't really know how the distinction between like, are there rich people in nomadic societies? I don't know. But uh, their, their, way of, their way of gathering food was completely different, and Monkey doesn't know too much about it. But um, that's what I've heard about, about this idea that peasants didn't eat so well, or ha they had to make do with what they had. There's a little bit of having to make do if, say, the country isn't doing well and the overlords are demanding more from you than, than you can really give. But that's generally a bad thing to do anyways because you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot if you do that. <laughs> so in times of um, relatively stable, uh, I guess, prosperity, Peasants probably ate pretty darn well. Now I'm getting distracted again. <laughs> I hear... Shinoleons? What are shinoleons? Are extremely rich in flavor. Oh... What's this? Shinoleons... Oh! Turtles! Turtle-like things. Mm -hmm. Darwin and the Beagle crew couldn't get any back to England from the Galapagos Islands alive because they were too delicious. <laughs> oh, I see! They may have produced the food, 
but the lords and ladies probably got first choice. Especially under serfdom. Mm -hmm. There's a, there is that element of first choice, but there's also just the element of like... You, you know... Certain things, certain things, like if you're a spice farmer, for example, you might never actually get to try your spices because they're so profitable, it's not worth it for you to hold on to any yourself. That's actually how it is right now in a lot of countries that grow things like um, coffee and chocolate. Most of the farmers don't actually um, know what the end product of their, of their product tastes like. Um, but, sort of like chocolate, actually, there is a product in chocolate, uh, there's a product of growing chocolate, so chocolate, as the general world knows of it, is the beans, comes from the beans of the chocolate pod, right? But around those beans is this sort of mushy, fleshy, mushy sort of goopy substance, um... That is extremely sweet, actually, and apparently very tasty. I've never had it myself. Um, but all of that, in it doesn't get sold outside because it doesn't last and there's no market for it. And so the locals will know what that tastes like, even if they have to sell off the, the bean part to be processed and sold elsewhere. So, I think the, 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 the rich and the nobility certainly got first choice, but they didn't always know what the good stuff was, and they didn't always have the capability of taking all the good stuff, especially when it comes to freshness, for example, like the brown rice. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going to start this game. <laughs> uh, start. Hmm... Alright, let's see. Oh! Look at the outside. How beautiful! It's Christmas Eve. Mm hmm Interesting environment already. I see over here is the Chinese... Uh, is the Chinese character for luck, put upside down. Hu. And... Hu Dao... Turning your lucky characters upside down is kind of a Chinese pun. <laughs> a Chinese pun for good luck. Because it means, um... It's a pun that... that Sounds like it's saying, luck has arrived. Fu Dala. Fu has fallen over or turned over is the same as, uh, you know, Fu has arrived. So, luck has arrived is a. These are kind of decorations you might see put up around the holidays and stuff. Over here, we have a Halloween costume party. Must have been from a couple months ago. 31st of October. Biggest anime costume competition. Oh. For every. Something, something... <laughs> Looks cute, I like it, I like it. Home is wherever I'm with you. That's a song, right? Home is wherever I'm with you. Something like that. Be calm and enjoy reading. NYU. Oh, I can't read this very well. This one down here. 你在 NYU. 能... 能 something <laughs> I, my Chinese is not very good, so I can't read this little poster with the the, the funny looking meme panda on it. Uh, you're at NYU something something. Something something. And there's some some post-it notes down here that are written in Chinese that I cannot read. <laughs> what if we hear new bubble bubble milk tea? Oh, oh, are these uh oh, Prada. On Wednesday, career expo. This is a nice little environment they already set up. And down here, this looks like a menu. Hmm. Uh -huh. It's Christmas Eve already. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, yeah. One reason I was waiting to play this game is because it's technically a Christmas game. So I thought I should at least wait until December. And today is December 1st, so... <laughs> I'm playing it. <laughs> uh, and the stream resolution isn't high enough for me to grab it. Oh? What, what can't you grab? Am I missing a uh, text there? It sounds like you said something that I might have missed. 
It's the season. Tis the season. Let's look around some more. Let's see some photos. Oh, that's nice. It's nice in the Christmas tree. <laughs> Food in the sink, of course. Oh, laptop. Laptop. Some other things. I like the sort of clutter in this environment that they were able to put together. It's quite nice. Oh, some snacks. Oh. Can I zoom in? Not yet. Snacks, snacks. I like snacks. Um, what else? Oh, there's some stuff over there. Slippers, maybe. Some books. A little dark back there. Okay, okay. Oh! And this is the fridge. Oh, there's a graduation cap. Maybe they'll graduate soon. Some NYU lists of things. Some photographs. Oh! I guess the hand means I can interact? That's my guess. The photographs. Alright. So I can't interact with anything over here, I guess. But... I should probably... I should probably keep going with the dialogue first. Uh-huh. The Chinese notes that you can't read on the sink is not where I would put my laptop. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, it looks like this is the flat part. This is... I think this is only a single sink right here, and there's no sink on that side, but... I also felt it felt a little precarious. Monkey is definitely not the type to put my laptop right there. <laughs> uh... Oh no, the Transformers movie have moved into the Beast Wars toy box. I need to sit down. <laughs> I, I'm i sorry to hear that, Mongoose. I don't know anything about what any of that means, unfortunately, but... I'm sorry, I'm sorry that something happened that was not good. Mm -hmm. I'd get a little anxious with my electronic seat seated that close to running water. Well, right? Right? <laughs> I can't... I can't handle it. I have... I have a couple people of my family who do this though. They'll like put their laptops and their phones in the kitchen. And they're like, oh, I'm looking up recipes. And I'm like, I'm like but uh... But you're gonna get it wet! <laughs> <laughs> I dread what will happen to my boy Waspinator. Oh... Alright, what's next? Smithy. Everybody has gone home for the holiday. Now that the semester is over. Hmm. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Luckily, I still have Christine and John. They're like my second family here, far away from home. Mm hmm. <laughs> the premise from what I read is that uh, we, the main character, we're an international student at NYU. Mm hmm. And we are staying here over the winter holiday break. Mm hmm. Perish the thought the closest I'll get is having my phone with the recipe in my pocket. Well, ah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Keep it in the pocket. Mm -hmm. Let me order some food for our hot pot tonight. I can't wait. Oh! So I'm gonna have hot pot with Christine and John originally. Is that the names? Maybe I forgot. Maybe these are our friends. The, the, the buddies who we're supposed to have hot pot with. Oh, and this must be the menu that we're ordering from. So I can open the fridge? Oh. Oh, yeah. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Hagen does. Oh, buns. These are like custard buns, it looks like. Or are these, yeah, custard buns? Like custard buns. Hungry mom. Oh, soup dumplings. <laughs> are these Trader Joe's soup dumplings? I recognize them. Oh, they keep their tea in the freezer. That's some real high-level stuff right there. Keep your tea in the freezer. Oh no, that's mochi. That's mochi. <laughs> Technically, keeping your tea in the freezer makes it last longer. But I don't tend to do it. And some hamburgers. Sounds good. What's this? French fries, maybe? Oh, in the back? Hard to say. Breaded chicken? What's in our fridge? Oh yeah, nicely stocked fridge. Look at all those sauces and butter and milk and stuff. Eggs. Onion. Onion? That's not onion. Oh, there's boba tea in the fridge. Some leftover soups. Looks pretty good. 
Oh, zoom is not rotate. Zoom is press the middle key. Oh, I see. Spam! Gotta have the spam. What else is in here? Oh, oh. Creme fresh. Oh, oh, oh. Mango... Mango juice? Orange juice? Some sort of juice. Lots of milk, actually. Two kinds of milk. Oh, they have jadoba. <laughs> this drink down here is good stuff. It's like an herbal drink. It's really tasty. Mm hmm We got their various sauces. Oh, oh. This stuff back here, too, is good. Uh, it's, uh... Sa cha. It's, uh... They call it, like, Chinese saute sauce. I don't know why. <laughs> And this stuff back here, chrysanthemum drink, I think that is. Uh, it's hard to... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lots of good things. Is that cheese? Is that a little wheel of cheese in the back? I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay, no more looking at food. Make monkey hungry. Um... Are you supposed to keep tea in the freezer? I never knew. Nah, it's not really a thing. It's not really a, a common thing to do. It's like a really like you're super into tea kind of thing to do, but only for teas that you're not planning to use very often that are very fresh. So things like matcha, uh, Japanese cut leaf teas especially, um, fresh ones like sencha or shincha, um, they they go bad fast because they're cut leaf and they're really fresh. Um, and so, putting them in the freezer will make them last longer. But, um, you only want... I mean, I would only want to do that if I wasn't planning to finish it within the time period in which it would be fresh enough for me. And even then, it's just normal to store it somewhere dry and dark. Don't store it in something glass, because that'll cause oxidation. If you can see if light can get through, but you want it to be cold. Uh, I guess not... I mean, cold is fine. Cold... But mostly you want it to be dry and dark. Um, and that's for any tea. You want it to be dry and dark so it doesn't continue chemically changing. But a lot of teas that are more processed, like oolong teas, black teas, and especially pu'er teas, do not need to be refrigerated or frozen at all, ever. Um, because that's kind of the point of the withering and oxidation process, is to preserve the leaves uh, in addition to producing more flavor. And in the case of pu'er, it's actually fermented as well. So, it's not it's not common to put most teas in the freezer, but if you're not planning if you if you got like a nice matcha and you're not planning to use it all up very soon, then that's a good ca candidate for putting it in the freezer. Mm -hmm. uh, I must sneak in and steal from the fridge. Fear me. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. Trash pandas be like that sometimes. I've definitely known some trash pandas who grew up around humans and they know they know how to open the fridge. <laughs> uh someone to whom school was just a place I had to go. I find these student settings hard to relate to. The school itself was just a nece necessary functional thing. Mm, I understand, I understand. It can be a hard thing to relate to if, for you, school doesn't have a good association. Mm -hmm. Monkey has found that my I've had multiple experiences with different schools at this point. And actually, the different experiences gave me different feelings. And so maybe one day, maybe one day you'll have an experience with a school-like setting that is a lot nicer. And then you'll be able to feel that a little bit. But even if you can't, that's okay. It's okay if you can't relate to the same things that everyone else can re uh, not everyone else. <laughs> that other people, uh, hold, right? Like, for example, this game, for Monkey, Hot Pot has a really strong positive feeling to Monkey. And I don't expect that to be the same for everyone else who is, um, sort of watching and enjoying this stream, or even playing the game. Not everyone's gonna have that same association. A lot of you, maybe you've never even seen or heard of Hot Pot before. Um, or maybe, who knows, maybe you had a bad experience with Hot Pot in the past. It can happen too. But, but, the, the idea is that hopefully, even if you can't relate on a personal level, there's something, there's something about it 
that you could maybe still relate to. Like the feeling of being... <laughs> the, the feeling of being somewhere unfamiliar. The feeling of being alone on a holiday. Uh, or, or just alone on a day when you'd rather not be alone. Mm -hmm. these, are, these are the more core feelings, right? And the idea of having a comfort food. Or something like that. In fact, this particular setting doesn't require that the main character necessarily has positive feelings towards school. They have positive feelings towards some of the friends they've made there. But they're just here. They're just here because, I guess, going home for the holidays, maybe it's too expensive, maybe it's too much trouble. For whatever reason, for the holidays, they didn't go home. So they're still here, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I was mostly told you keep them in special pots, but the freezer was entirely new to me. It makes sense to keep them fresh though. Yeah, yeah, the really fresh ones, like the really... You'll know it's a fresh tea if you look at it and it's this incredible bright green. Mm -hmm. Assuming that's not, you know, <laughs> artificial. <laughs> yeah. Um, the pots you keep them in don't have to be too special, but you do want to avoid... In Monkey's opinion, avoiding oxygen is good. Um, and you want to avoid sunlight. So any sort of canister um, that that prevents the, the sunlight from coming in is good. Even if you only have clear canisters, then just keep them in a cupboard so that no, there's no light coming in. Mm -hmm. And the more airtight, the better. Mm. Alright. Uh, I wasted half a pack of Sincha. Couldn't drink it fast enough or persuade anyone to help me. Oh, I understand. Mm -hmm. That might be a good candidate for putting in the freezer then. Mm -hmm. I keep some of my like nice green teas also. You don't have to go into the freezer. You can put it in the fridge. Um, I currently have one of my higher quality cookie cha. Which is kind of funny because cookie cha is not... <laughs> cookie cha is kind of like matcha in that... Chinese people would say, what do you mean you made that into a fancy tea? But, uh, uh, because it, from Chinese tradition, it would have been a cheaper tea. But cookie cha is tea made out of the stems, um, of the tea plant. Um, but these are fancy, so it's like the very young green stems, uh, in this case. And that's what makes them so flavorful and tasty. But since they're young and green, I keep that in the fridge. For a little bit of that extra preservation after opening the package. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fr freezers if you want long, long, long. <laughs> See, now monkey's saying things funny. Long, long term storage. And then fridge is just long term storage. And then pantry is everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, cooking class might be nice, useful for anybody. Mmm, I like cooking classes. I've taken a few here and there. Separate from schools as well. It's a lot of fun. If you go with friends or if you go by yourself. If you find a nice one, it can be a lot of fun. Put the tea chest in the freezer. <gasps> <laughs> you could, you could. <laughs> I also wasted half a pack of Sincha in the exactly the same way. Oh, <laughs> oh I see. This is a bigger problem than Monkey realized. <laughs> Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Next time? Next time, maybe try putting it immediately in the fridge. And if it looks like it's gonna take longer, put some of it in the freezer too. That might help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cookie cha I have is is fresh enough that it's kind of sencha-ish. I just realized I can open all these cabinets, so I want to open all the cabinets. <laughs> that settles it. Sencha packs are just too big. Mmm, Monkey's gonna have to disagree with that, too. You just gotta drink more tea. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Monkey's not gonna force feed you tea. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. New idea. Bring the Sencha to the tea club. Yeah! I will share with you. I will, I will drink all of your Sencha. Oh, that's a bad thing, though, isn't it? I won't drink all of your Sencha, I promise. <laughs> Monkey definitely has... I go through tea phases sometimes where different teas are my favorite. I, I definitely went through a Sencha phase. It was pretty good stuff. <laughs> Alright, open some cabinets. What's in here? Oh, it's a little hard to see. 
Can I move yet? No, I can't move. But there's uh, laundry stuff and toiletries. Okay, okay. What's down here? Can I open this? Oh! <laughs> I didn't think so. I was like, how am I supposed to open this? It's stuck. Uh, understandable. <laughs> Sometimes that's just the way it is. Go back. Close the drawer. Oh, is this rice? Of course we have to have rice. I like that they have a rice bin, but they leave the bag on top so you know what kind of rice you have right now. This one is... Short grain... Hua... Hua huo... Hua huo... Oh, hanabi! Hanabi! <laughs> I was like, what's hua huo? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> hanabi! Flower fire. That's Japanese. Japanese rice. And your cups, and some pans. Can I open this? Oh! <gasps> you left fish in there! Oh no, what is that? No, that's water? Oh, this is hilarious, actually. Okay, this is hilarious. <laughs> okay, this here... This here to explain is a little Chinese-American joke for all of you. <laughs> sort of an Asian-American joke. I hear Indians do this too, Koreans do this too. In Chinese cooking... In Chinese cooking... You don't really use a Western-style oven for most things. Most things you do, maybe stovetop or other things. Um, and so... Ovens in Chinese households often are completely unused. But rather than letting them go unused... Um, which would be a real waste... Instead, a lot of Asians will turn it into storage space. So here we have some paper plate... Or some plates and some... What looks like toilet paper or something, some storage in there. And here we're storing, looks like water bottles. <laughs> bottles of water and a newspaper for some reason. <laughs> that's, that's kind of funny. That's pretty funny. We opened this one. Yeah. Um, uh, standing desk? Uh, I'm not sure if this is actually a standing desk or, or what. It looks like it's meant to be a little bit of a kitchen island, like for extra counter space, is how they're using it. But it does look like a desk. It certainly looks like a desk. I guess probably not a standing desk, because we're standing way up here. A standing desk would probably have to be as high as this windowsill. This one's about the same height as the countertops. Mm -hmm. Which tend to be about sitting height, I feel. Mm -hmm. The crampedness is definitely familiar, though, for people who have lived in... <laughs> in this sort of situation. Something's a little fishy about that oven. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were fish, but then they were too round, and now I see they're probably water bottles. Wait, can I zoom in? Yeah, those are water bottles. <laughs> Hanabi is flower fire, if you want to be literal, but it means firework. Yeah, yeah, the Chinese word for firework is different, and since this is sort of a Chinese international student premise, I had assumed that the rice would be Chinese. But actually, this is also a bit of an Chinese-American reality. Is that a lot of rice that you can get in America is actually Japanese. Um, from Japanese uh, immigrants who started rice farms and stuff. It's good stuff though. I really like... I really like Japanese short grain rice. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it's popular in China these days too. No, the oven should be for pies, or is he? <laughs> I understand. I like things that... Oh, there's that. This is the can I was talking about. Um, this is a pun. Oh, no, it's not a pun. Sorry, this is the correct one. Uh, Wang Lao Qi. No, this is a pun. <laughs> <laughs> so if you notice... Some of these, they try to avoid the actual... Uh, actual names of things. Oh, this looks good too. Something Gua Cha. This uh, that looks good. But this is this is good stuff. Wang Lao Ji or Jia Duo Bao. There's a there's actually a controversial history to that particular drink <laughs> that I won't get too carried away with right now. But uh yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Do, 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 do. Did I open all the things? I think I opened all the things that I can reach. Can I walk? No. No walking. No movement. Monkey stay here. <laughs> I appreciate all the Chinese puns. I love to see different cultures' wordplay. Work Might be a bit biased though. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Japanese and Chinese people have a lot of wordplay. I think the Japanese probably outdo the Chinese people in wordplay though, because they have so much opportunity for puns. It has become a strong part of the culture. You all think old? <laughs> You're not quite wrong there. Um, so this is Chinese, so sometimes the words are slightly different from Japanese. In that, um... In that it's, uh... It's, uh... How you say? The, the meanings are... can be slightly different. So this is a pun here. This should be Wang, as in king, so, so in Japanese, o, like o sama no o. Um, but they put a special dot here to turn it into jewel because then it's not the same. <laughs> then it's not the same. <laughs> that's my guess of what's going on here. Though, I'm not sure why actually. Maybe that's a font thing. Wang lao ji and lao means old in Chinese. Um, and this also means old, I guess, but it's supposed to be his name. I don't actually know too much about it. But it's Wang Lao Ji, uh, or not his name, sorry. Wang is the name Lao Ji, is like old man. So the original name of this drink is Old Man Wang. Um, because it was made by an old man named Wang. <laughs> and then, um, due to various com complicated political ca and also commercial company stuff, weird stuff happened and the company split into two. And one side of the company kept this name, um, and the other side of the company took the name Jia Duo Bao. So both of them should be similar drinks, and they both kind of come in this red can traditionally. Mm -hmm. um, brand disguises, but the Fanta was undisguised. Yeah, I noticed that too. But there was some. Look at this. The Hagen Daz is a dagen, a dagen Daz. A dagen gaz. See? Maybe... Maybe they're not necessarily disguising it so much as putting on a filter? Or maybe some of them are disguised and some of them are not? It's kind of hard to say, but I noticed this... A dagen gaz. <laughs> a dagen gaz. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why some of them have normal names and some of them do not. Something... Can I read upside down? Something gold. Something gold. Chili bean sauce. Dobanjiang. Dobanjiang is good stuff. If you've had um, Chinese style mapo tofu, traditional Chinese mapo tofu uses dobanjiang. Um, yeah. Creamy whip. See, it's like this one is a fake brand too, I think. And this one's just milk. I don't know if that's a brand or not. Oh, and this one's... This one's backwards. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> Don't look too closely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know if it's intentional or not now that you mention it. Florida's Natural. Is that a real brand? Florida's Natural. This one's not real, right? Mango Made? Mango Made? I don't think I've heard of. Looks kind of like the Minute Made brand. Mm hmm. So some of them are real and some of them are not. But this Fanta for some reason is real, right? I don't know why. <laughs> Apparently Fanta's okay. Hmm. Uh. That's... This, not that. Oh my goodness. Those two look very similar. Here, let me... Let me see if I can... I wanna... I wanna see what those two different characters are. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Yes, you're right! It's not the furui. It's not furui. It's the other one. Mm-hmm. That sounds correct to me. Let me look up the actual can. Wang no kat. Sorry, Wang lao ji is a Mandarin pronunciation, because Monkey's not very good at Cantonese, but it's actually a Cantonese string, so Wang... Wang no ka is probably a better way to pronounce it. Yeah, it's not furui. It's like you said, the one with the two separate radicals. The one on top that's like a... Uh, the person thing. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> I don't know what you call that radical. And then the bottom is a, a mouth rather than a cross over a mouth. Mm -hmm. Good eye, good eye. I think I could be wrong. No, you sound... It looks right to me. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no, a game about food. I'll let the tangents begin. <laughs> yes, they have begun. There's no game about socks, right? Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Or a game about kimono? That would be something. Mm -hmm. I love these legally distinct names. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe Fanta is surprisingly chill about this? Hmm, I don't know. Don't let her know. Don't let me know! <laughs> Hello, Willow Mia! Welcome, welcome! Hello, Areku. Areku? Areku? Is that the name you like to go by? Oh, oh. Florida's natural is real. Oh! Ah, Min-chan. <laughs> Much waves! These are cute. Waving hand. This may be the first time Nao has been raided. We may need to give them a second to catch up. But we're happy to have you. Welcome to the tea club. Wait. I'm getting raided? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> this is happening? <laughs> eh? <laughs> Confusion. Confusion. <laughs> well, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Mm -hmm. I must be missing stuff. Let me see. Live chat. I should be on live chat. Oh! Oh! Areku channel and their viewers just joined. Say hello! Learn more. Oh! Oh, welcome, welcome! Ah, uh, welcome, Areku. Areku chan, Areku kun. And, uh, and everyone else. Welcome, welcome! Welcome to the TSG Club. Yes, I have no idea what's going on, but YouTube gave me. Oh, the notification went away. <laughs> YouTube gave me some sort of notification just now. Well, welcome, welcome, everybody. Mm hmm. I see a Chinese internet meme face on a panda. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening. Can you read that? I can only read... Nijai NYU something something la. But I can't actually see the more complicated characters. I don't know well enough to be able to read them at this resolution. But some people might be able to. Yes, it is. This game looks chill. Oh, yeah, yeah. We haven't done much but look around yet, but that's what Mikey likes to do. <laughs> Free advertising makes companies sue you. I will never understand that. Uh, I think it's less the, the free advertising and more the... They're not sure they want to be associated with you, right? Because... Say you had a company, right? And someone who had an opinion that was very different from yours... Uh, on some important issue... ...started using your company's image, their brand stuff, in their own stuff, in their own games or something, right? You might not like that very much. You might say, I don't support you or your games at all, and I don't want people thinking that I do. Um, and so please don't put my name in it, right? And so, if you come from a culture that is very... ...very cognizant of these sorts of things, then they might... They might start imposing rules to say, well, you better ask first before you use someone else's stuff, right? It's kind of like if they used your name, right? If I was like, oh, you know... Uh, I put... If I put you in a game, for example. If I said, oh, this is Mongoose in a game. But I never asked you if you were okay with it. You might like it. You might be like, this is great. But you also might be like, oh, I don't... I don't really like that. Can you stop? And so, people like to err on the side of ask first, I guess. Mm -hmm. Question mark. And also, it's not always free advertising if you put it in somewhere and you're like, but this is bad. <laughs> there are things like parody laws that exist that try to protect your ability to use real things in, in your media, in your games and stories and stuff. But, um, but yeah, it can get a little complicated, I guess. W-W-W? Huh? <laughs> the re resolution is much too low, yeah. Oh... Is it hard to see? It, do people find it hard to see things? Oh, the resolution on the characters, yeah. I don't think I can improve that. I think I have it... Uh, I think I have it as high as I can go right now. I'm not sure. I might check that out next, uh, later, but I don't think I can change it from inside the game. Uh -huh. Sometimes people are very good at reading stuff, though. Um, they can kind of get it from context and the general shape of the word. Monkey's not like that. <laughs> not yet. 
something about home, if I see it right. Home? Hmm, I don't think so, because in Chinese at least, home is a very simple character. Unless you, they're using a... Uh, a special... a special character that I don't know. Um, home is, if you know, like... Uchi or Ie. The one with a roof over a pig. So, you know how people say home is where the heart is? In Chinese, home is where the pig is. <laughs> so it's actually a relatively simple character. And I, I think I'd be able to recognize it at this resolution. Mm -hmm. I guess it must be just as low at your end. Yeah, it's kind of fuzzy. Oh, I guess it is even lower for you guys though, maybe. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm not really centered, am I? Let me center it a bit more. Yeah. You can kind of see it. Kind of see it. I don't know, actually. It's closer if I do it this way, but then I block it a little bit. Uh -huh. Um. But suing someone just hurts your brand. Mm -hmm. It can. Which is, again, why I think they have those laws in place to try to prevent... Getting into this conflict in the first place? I think the idea is... We don't know, so please ask first. <laughs> and that's the law, you know? There's no big controversy, it's just the law. Uh, companies aren't supposed to have an opinion. Just sell stuff. <laughs> well, companies may not have an opinion. But the people who own the companies might have an opinion. And furthermore... That analogy, it does start to break down once companies stop being, like, individual things, right? Like, if you made your own company and you were the only person, basically you're just selling something, then you can have an opinion, right? And... But if it's a big, big company, yeah, the company can't have an opinion on its own, but... It can have what they call a brand, an image they're trying to portray, uh, and... The... To protect that image is part of the idea, too, I think. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're a brand that sells things for children, you might not want your stuff to show up in adult videos or adult games, right? You might say, no, that, that's just really wrong for the image we're trying to portray, and we don't want any media like that out there because our stuff is for children. And that could be a, that could be a problem, right? Mm -hmm. I think most American companies don't see any implicit endorsement in this type of context, but Japanese companies sure do. Oh? Implicit endorsement? Probably has something to do with America having the fair use doctrine and Jap Japan not having such a thing. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is getting a little complicated for Monkey right now, I think. But they're giant companies. One dude saying this product is it bad? It's like a mosquito bite. Oh, oh, yeah, I think, um, I think that's, uh, that's why little projects like this can often get away with it. But just to be careful, sometimes people change it up anyways, you know? Usually it's not a big deal, but it, it, because, and but, but the problem is what if you do blow up and get big and get noticed? And some companies are stricter about it than others as well. Mm -hmm. What about Noka? Noka? What's a Noka? Noka. Is that Japanese? Noka. Noka? Noka? I don't know. I'm not sure what you mean. Mm -hmm. Pig house. Yeah. Pig under the roof. That's a home. Mm -hmm. Back to Transformers for a sec. They made the Autobots all cars from the brand that gave him a deal and the Decepticons, bad guys, all Fords, no deal. But the logo's blacked out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great example, actually. That's a great example of how it can be kind of frustrating if your brand gets associated with something like that. And that's why they blacked them out, because even though... Even though people who know cars will notice that they're all Fords... <laughs> If you black out the logo, Floyd can't really say you can't do it sometimes, I think, is the idea. <laughs> but wouldn't it be worse if it did say Floyd on it? And everyone's like, yeah, Fords are Decepticons. Fords are... Fords are evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
It's not an association they probably want to have. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Just skip bylines. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to Monkey if you haven't already. We are very close to reaching 400. Oh, are we? Are we? We are getting close, it is true. Where are we at? <laughs> bring your friends, bring your cats, bring everything. <laughs> Tears to the moon. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Well, if you if you think you'd be interested in uh, hanging out with the tea club some more, please do subscribe, of course. Mm -hmm. Not necessary, but it would be appreciated. <clears throat> and I guess technically if I hit 400 before... We do our 300 subs celebration, which is scheduled from two weeks from today. I still need to put out the uh, actual, <laughs> uh, put out actual posts on, on Discord and Twitter and I guess on YouTube now about it. But <laughs> we're having our 300 subs, uh, a very very late celebration in two weeks. If we reach 400 before that, we will also have a 400 sub celebration later. But I'll do some sort of, uh, <laughs> I'll do some sort of. Uh, Thing to make up for for having the 300 subs so late, like a spicy noodle challenge or something. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Bad example, I'm afraid. Such a bunch of celebs. Since a bunch of celebs who sell to kids also go risque as all heck. Oh. I mean, everyone can have their own opinion, right? I'm not saying that everyone who sells to kids. Don't want to have an association with adult stuff, but some people won't, right? Mm -hmm. It's not really a black and white, and I think that's why they have these restrictions. It's because everyone has their own opinion, and so it's always better to ask first. Um, like for example, Monkey, Monkey doesn't mind if you do not safe for work fan art of me, for example. I don't mind at all. Um, but. Other VTubers might not like it. And so it's always good to ask first. And that's a similar sort of, um, similar sort of thing, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, also, this scenario uh, is like the lo-fi girl, but it's a monkey, and instead of studying, she's making some flutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I should play some lo-fi music in the background. <laughs> The Pan fair use makes no sense to me, especially re YouTube, which should be subject to U.S. law first. Oh, so, so YouTube, uh, well, internet companies are a little special. Uh oh, YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Let me know if it's getting kind of um choppy on your end. Uh, if it's getting kind of choppy on your end, I'll try to fix it somehow. I'm gonna look away. <laughs> I don't know, look, well, actually, YouTube is having trouble, but it looks like locally I'm doing fine. Um, let me know if it gets so too choppy to understand Monkey. Um, what was I saying? Ah, so YouTube has its own things going on, and not all of YouTube is based on laws. Their rules are kind of based on other things. But because it's an internet company, that means that every domain that it operates in is going to have different rules. And if you're going to operate in a certain domain, you need to be you need to be listening to those rules, not the rules necessarily of your home country. Some places will also employ the rules of their home country just for simplicity or personal reasons. But it's where you're operating that gets to set the rules of what you can do. Just like if you were to open up a shop, and you opened up one in the US, and you opened up one in Japan, the one in Japan would have to follow Japan rules, and the one in the US would follow US rules. It's why you th see things like, um... Uh, lots of large companies that make things like beverages. The beverage companies are huge, right? Um, and other foodstuffs that are, that are international. They'll have different ingredients lists in different places. Um, for example... You would think that the US and the EU are very similar, and especially in places where both speak English, the, you would expect the labeling to be the same. But if you look at the ingredients, due to different regulations, where the EU tends to have stronger regulations on what you can put into processed foods, um, you'll find that they have different ingredients. Um, and, and so, 
And so it's it's about the place that you're operating in, which is a little harder to see when it comes to internet stuff, because the internet is not really location locked like an actual shop, but it's uh still sort of trying to follow that way of doing things in order to prevent chaos, I guess. <laughs> Personally, if my cars turned into giant robots, I'd want the logo displayed. Feels like a selling point. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know much about Transformers, but is that true even if they were evil giant robots, Shatter? I guess you would want to know that it... that it's... if it's evil or not. But that's the problem. People might avoid it if it's evil. And then they won't sell. <laughs> I just realized, can I open this window? I thought I saw a hand before, but maybe that was... that was... that was a... Glitch, because I probably did something weird. Um, chatter. While I disagree with car companies critiquing art, Ford felt the, that the movie wasn't good enough. Shop talk is right twice a day. There was a time where you could get kids merch with the Playboy logo on it. Mm -hmm. Well, culture matters too, right? Some cultures think that things like that are are perfectly fine for children to consume or to be associated with that sort of thing. It really depends. Mm hmm Oh yeah, we had Playboy logo on umbrellas as well. I thought the rabbit was cute as a kid. Oh, me too, me too. I, I think I saw the logo before I knew what it was the logo for. And so I thought it was... I thought it was cute. <laughs> Lo-fi monkey to make hot pot with. Mmm. We got some choppy monkey, but it's back to normal now. Oh, glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Internet will always be a chaotic place. We gotta hope. We gotta hope. We don't know what the future brings, but hopefully some of that chaos remains. I think it was in Kamen Rider Hibiki, but they go into a shop and you can see a Pikachu image. Does that mean they needed to ask Game Freak slash Nintendo to show that episode? I think that is very likely to be the case with the way that Japanese copyright law works. Is that in order to show something like a Pikachu that is definitely Pikachu, you have to confirm with the companies first. Um, even if it's a positive portrayal. And especially Pikachu being really big um, is very protected. You'll, see, you'll notice that there's hardly anything with Mario that looks like Mario in it. Um, that being said... That being said... Uh, Pokemon Company actually has a very permissive fan work policy, um, in general. Um, and so, basically their fan work policy is, you can do whatever you want, as long as we get the rights over whatever you make that uses our stuff, is kind of the idea. Which is why you see a lot of fan merchandise of things like Pokemon. Um, but yeah, that's written up in their, in their policy, I guess. So I don't know how the, that applies to bigger things, like, like Kamen Naida. My guess is that with something that big, it doesn't really count as a fan work. But, hard to say. Um, but yeah. There's also, in Japan, interestingly, um, the way people work these things out tends to be a little bit different from other countries as well, in that... For example, um, you might have heard of Kiki's Delivery Service. Um, Kiki's Delivery Service was meant to be just be... It came from a, a novel, actually. It was just meant to be a little children's novel. It was never meant to blow up the way that it did. Uh, and it was never expected to. And so they call it, um... Maho... Ma Majo no Takyubin. Which means, um, the... The... I guess the li the witches... The, the witch girls, um, you might say postal service or delivery service, but Takyubin is actually a brand. It's, it's actually a trademarked kind of name. So it'd be like saying Witch FedEx. Witch is FedEx. <laughs> but it was something that kind of like, say, Kleenex, I guess, or uh, Xerox. It was uh, one of those brand names that had become com kind of common parlance. For when you just mean delivery service in general. And so that's why the author used it. But when it became a movie... And I think books and movies are probably subject to different... Um, different laws as well. When it became a movie... Miyazaki and Ghibli Studios... 
um, assumed that because the book name was Takyubin, that they had already figured out the whole rights thing. And so they went ahead and made the movie with the exact same name without contacting uh, the Kuroneko uh, delivery company that owns Takyubin. Um, and so, uh, Takyubin... So, after the movie got big and got famous, the, the company said, Hey! You can't just... That's our name! <laughs> Wait a second! <laughs> and so, the Ghibli company had to figure out what to do about that. They had to go back and either, you know, change all the names or what. But they worked out a deal. And the company, the package delivery company said, Oh, well, I mean, it's a good movie. Um, we're fine with you continuing to use the name as long as we can freely use your characters. <laughs> and it kind of works out too, because uh, Takyubin belongs to the Kuroneko delivery company, which has a black cat as its uh, mascot anyways. And so they just started putting Kiki and Gigi and all of that stuff on their promotional materials. And so in some ways, they got a lot of benefit out of this... <laughs> out of this accidental usage of their name. Because they were able to make that deal afterwards. Um, and so, I know this is not all, how it always goes around the world. Sometimes it's just like, no, you have to go back and change everything. Or you have to pay a lot of money. And that sort of thing. But this sort of thing happens too. Where they're like, well, technically we like the... We like the movie. We think it's a positive association. In fact, we like it so much, we want to benefit off of your movie by taking your cute characters and using them to advertise our service. <laughs> <laughs> Business is weird sometimes. Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh, uh, uh. Whether it's evil or not, I'm pretty sure everyone would want to buy a car then that can turn into a giant space alien robot. Hmm, hmm. I think it depends on the person, right? You might choose the one that turns into a good robot over the one that turns into a bad robot, right? Then again, if you're a card company that's like, no, we like that sort of edgy dark feel, then actually it would be great to be the, the villains. So again, I think it just all really depends. And it all comes down to... In Monkey's opinion, it all comes down to trying to just be good to one another. <laughs> Even if you think something is good for someone else, it's always nice to check with them first, right? Mm -hmm. uh, nice cooking. Ah, we, we will cook soon. We will cook soon. Uh, at Willow Meal. Even if its name is literally Breakdown. Oh no, that's no good. Car called Breakdown. <laughs> BRB. Oh, okay. I think it was just a real shop that happened to have some Poké toys in stock at the time. Oh! Oh, interesting! Interesting. I wonder... So, if it's real footage, that's one thing. If it's real footage in news, I don't think there's any... There's two... I don't know what the Japanese law is on that, if you have to blur things out or not. I kind of doubt it, but I don't know. But if it's in an actual episode, then they would have been able to stock the shop, you know? They would have been able to say, oh, we should probably take this out of the window. So I'm not sure. Also, random question. What is the boba tea flavor you like? Oh. I recently got to experience it myself and it's lovely. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I got strawberry with strawberry little boys. <laughs> little bowls. Oh, I see, I see. Um, For monkey, I like lots of kind of boba tea flavors. I would say that when I'm evaluating a new boba shop... Okay, Monkey has a lot of opinions on boba. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try to hold back and not say everything. Okay, this is a very... This is a very... <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if Monkey is capable. Monkey... Has a lot... Monkey grew up with boba. Uh, let's start there. I grew up with boba. And my whole family likes boba and talks... Uh, and has like... Always kind of had opinions about boba. It was a thing we did together. Um, and so I have a lot of feelings about boba. So... If... If... Monkey is trying a new boba place... Um, it depends if Monkey's feeling kind of like adventurous or... Trying to evaluate it as like, is this gonna be a new spot that I go to regularly? And also, whether the boba place itself has a specialty. 
Usually, in that case, I will pick between either the specialty or what I consider the default boba. Because it's sort of the original formulation of boba. Um, and it, by using that, you can kind of judge, in general, the skill uh, of that boba shop. Kind of like how they do this in Shohukeki no Soma as well, I think. Maybe not. But they do this... Uh, one way to judge someone's cooking ability if they come from like a Frenchy sort of European tradition is to have them cook an omelet. Because it's simple, but it shows you, it can tell you a lot about the different aspects of like what they're doing. Um, and so the default boba, um, that is also still for Monkey a favorite simply because both it's default and it's nostalgic, and also it just tastes good. Um, is usually a black tea. Often it's an asam tea, but it's just a black tea um, with uh, milk and sugar and boba, the original boba pearls, the tapioca pearls. Um, and from there you can judge how the tapioca pearls have been cooked, whether they've been marinated in various flavors. You can judge the flavor of the tea, how sweet they tend to make it, um, and that sort of thing. Um, and then from there, it kind of depends on the actual boba shop I'm at, what I might choose. Um, because boba shops do tend to have specialties. Some specialize in flavored things like your strawberry boba. Um, or peach tea is very common if you like peach. Um, taro is common. Um, and then the little fillings, aside from boba, they have regular boba, they have small boba, they have agar boba, they have popping boba, they have... Um, jellies sometimes, they have pudding. I used to really, I used to almost always get pudding as a kid because it's hard to mess up and it's delicious. <laughs> because Monkey loves pudding. <laughs> so that was an easy choice as well. But depending on the specialties, um, there was a boba shop that Monkey went to where actually their default bobas were just okay. But what they did really well was like a honey lemon with aloe tea, which is one of Monkey's favorites, actually. So that became one of my favorite boba spots. Even though everyone else questioned why I kept going there, because their default bobas, their regular bobas, weren't as good. Um, then there's, you know, a lot of people like Taro. A lot of people like it more sweet. I, I tend to kind of back off on the sweet a little bit for most of my drinks, because I like to taste the tea. Um, I had a favorite boba spot. Um, a lot of my favorite boba spots are spots where they use lots of different kinds of traditional tea. Um, and so you can really taste the tea flavor. Like a genmai cha, I've had hoji cha, I've had. So they have Japanese flavors and then they have high mountain oolong. And of course, they usually also have a green tea version. Um, all sorts of teas. I like, I like that kind of thing. Uh, roasted oolong. Um... I used to do a lot of, especially as a baby monkey, flavored teas like chocolate boba um, and that sort of thing. Though I do a little bit less of that now. There was one place I liked that had a really good ginger milk tea boba. M monkey really likes ginger. Um, and usually I do get the milk tea, but like I said, some places, especially places with like really good fruit tea, Monkey likes to get really acidic lemony teas as well without the milk. Um, and in that case, I might not even get boba. So boba technically refers to the tapioca balls. Um, the, the word boba actually... <laughs> the word boba actually comes from a, sil si from a similar sounding... Well, it is, it, that's just what it is in China, actually. Boba in Chinese is slang for... For uh, booba. <laughs> There's a bit of an overlap there. Um, and it was named after... It was named after a uh, Taiwanese, Chinese, Taiwanese maybe, um, singer who was famous for her boba <laughs> as sort of a marketing gimmick. That was something where they, they used her image, not necessarily with her consent, but it wasn't her real name. It was the nickname her fans gave her. So, you know, <laughs> it was their marketing thing. And so boba refers to the actual pearls uh, in general. But I tend to use it, and a lot of people nowadays tend to use it for any drink in that same style. Um, even if it doesn't have pearls in it. Um, the same drink can also be called, um, pearl milk tea, zenzu nai ta, bubble milk tea. Bubble milk tea is actually the older name, older than boba. 
because when they named it boba, they were naming it after tapioca pearls. When it was named bubble milk tea early on, that was named after the fact that it's a shaken drink. Um, because when you, when you make the tea, it's an iced tea, um, and you shake it, and then the bubbles come on top. There, there are bubbles, there's traditionally a layer of foam on top, actually. Um, just from the shaking of the tea. Um, that's become less of a common thing these days, but it's the origin of this style of tea in general. Um, and back then, sometimes it would have... Sometimes it would have fillings, sometimes it wouldn't. Having things in your tea or things in your beverages is actually just sort of a common thing in... ...in Chinese cuisine in general, so it wasn't too big of a leap. Um, but yeah, so the bubble milk tea refers to that style of tea, the... ...basically iced tea. Chinese, or Taiwanese specifically, style iced tea. Um... And so... Bubble milk, uh, bubble tea, boba tea, nowadays they all mean the same thing, but they kind of come from uh, <laughs> a more a more spread out uh, history. Mm -hmm. But yes, yeah, so Monkey can't say that I have a particular boba tea that is my favorite. It definitely changes over time and depends on where I'm getting it from. I've tried making it at home. Um, <laughs> I didn't do very well because Monkey's not the best cook. I'm gonna try again at some point. I didn't do a good job. But yeah, mostly I get it out. <laughs> it is mostly a cafe thing anyway. Um, but yeah, so it depends on where I where I go actually. What my favorite at that particular spot might be as well. Um, and... Uh, but yeah. <laughs> that, that, was, uh, that was Monkey talking a lot about Boba. <laughs> Have I, uh... Have I... Have I talked about it enough already? <laughs> I'm back. Oh, welcome back! That's because it's just a word meaning fast home delivery. Apple Computers does not own the name of the fruit. Hmm. Hmm. That's where it starts to get complicated, though. They, they don't own the name of the fruit, but there are certain contexts... Uh, in U.S. law, at least. I don't know about Japanese law, but in U.S. law... If something could be seen to be mis... Uh, easily misconstrued as having a relationship, that's a problem. But if not, then it's not a problem. So, if we call... If we're talking about things that are... And call them like, apple this or apple that. But it's like, related to food or whatever. They don't own that. But if you start having... If you start talking about electronics... And saying, oh, this is an Apple mouse or something. I guess they have mice these days. I don't know what kind of electronics they don't make. An Apple webcam? We call it an Apple webcam. Then you might get into some shaky territory. Um, sometimes it turns out laws are written in such a way where they sound very, they sound very strict. But actually they have to be flexible to the actual experience of life, right? Because life is not strict. And so these sorts of things, these sorts of things get taken into account. Mm -hmm. And takyu bean is actually something they made up themselves. It's like a phrase. Rather than apple, it's like if you made up a phrase like, uh, like a slogan. Or a phrase like, like, like FedEx. Federal Express just means federal is, uh, the, means it's a federation, right? And express just means fast. So you would say anything should be able to say Federal Express. But... Not anymore. <laughs> it's all very complex and Monkey's not really sure how I feel about all of it. I think... There are pros and cons to all of it. And at this point, Monkey's just like... It's the world we live in. Eh. <laughs> but, uh... I, I suppose I could be convinced either way. Mm -hmm. uh, cooking soon hype. Oh yes, soon, soon. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, no. Oh, thank you. He he did it again, Kun. Monkey is hot pot. We'll go cold. It's okay. We haven't started yet. <laughs> oh, my, my eternal rival. Little. Oh, you understand, Shatter? Yeah, cause you're a cook, so you understand that omelets, they seem deceptively simple, but... <laughs> uh... Boba Billion? What's Boba Billion? 
I opened a rift in time and space with my boba question, it seems. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> chocolate boba sounds tasty. Mm -hmm. It's mostly chocolate flavored tea and then regular boba is how I've seen it. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. Strawberry is good. Mm -hmm. To me. Mm -hmm. By all means, keep going. <laughs> I could listen all day. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Shatter. I would try my best to actually play the game too, though. I'm not sure this game is actually savable. <laughs> uh, Winky, when are you releasing your boba documentary? <laughs> Winky's not enough of an expert to release a documentary. I could put it up. I could put out an opinion piece. <laughs> It all sounds like that guy who tried to patent a stick so he could demand royalties from anyone playing fetch. Oh, interesting. Sometimes people do this type of thing to try to see... To try to... Push the extents of the law and see where they... Where they break, you know? Or sometimes it's a protest, my guess is. I just stopped by to say hello. Hello, Fernando Moria! It's good to see you! And I wish you all a Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas to you as well! Uh -huh. Depending on the style you make, omelets can be quite difficult. Denver omelets aren't super hard, but French style is quite hard. Ah, I see, I see. Wait, there's a game. I thought this was just chatting. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, yeah, there's a game. <laughs> Speaking of actually playing the game though, mm hmm. As we approach the two-hour mark... Are we on time today? Oh no! <laughs> Are we already? Oh my goodness, you're right. Oh my goodness. How does this happen to Monkey? <laughs> okay. Okay, what is Monkey gonna do about this? We... Monkey doesn't have any, like... Thing that I definitely have to go to... Right now... Sort of thing. But... Especially because we went long earlier this week... <laughs> There are some things that Monkey needs to get done before the end of the week. <laughs> mm -hmm. I get the feeling... <laughs> I get the feeling we won't be able to finish this game today. Let's say... Let's see. Monkey will give it... Let's say another half hour. Let's see how far we can get in this game in a half hour. And, um, and wherever we get, that's where we'll go. And then if we don't finish, Monkey will just start over. Because I don't think this game has save points. Um, my guess. Because it's supposed to be a short game. It's supposed to be a half hour game. I don't expect to, we will fill it, finish it in a half hour. <laughs> but it's supposed to be like a half hour game. So we can come back and play it again later, I think. Mm hmm. Um. Oh no, I have reminded Monkey of the time sadness. <laughs> it's okay, thank you though. I do really appreciate it. It's helpful. It's helpful. Monkey does have things I really need to do. Gotta be the responsible monkey doing the responsible monkey business. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're going to have to start ignoring some chat messages if you want to complete a game one of these days. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Sometimes I do okay. Some days it depends, you know? Some days it depends. Let's see about this. No, ignore chat messages. Perish the thought. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, let's click on this menu. As I thought. Oh, this, this is great. Hot pot special combo. Can I read this? No. Something something. Mm -hmm. 2295. Beef slice. Oh, it comes with one beef slice. <laughs> they don't mean one beef slice. They mean one beef platter. But sometimes the, the translation gets a little... <laughs> one chicken leg. Oh, interesting. Interesting. One cabbage. Oh. Six ingredients at your choice. Ah, three choice ingredients. Sounds good. RQ Authentic Chinese Restaurant. Okay, okay. Here's six ingredients. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds good. Mm hmm Let's see. So I guess we're gonna get the... Get the ingredients. And then... I don't know if they deliver or we go pick up. Shrimp, meatballs, ham slice, sausage. 
vegetables, broccoli, potato slice, tofu, enoki mushroom. Okay, well, I definitely need these. Mm -hmm. uh, potato meat shrimp. <laughs> Are these your votes, Mongoose? <laughs> Versus similitude is the English on the Chinese menu. What? What do you mean? Versus... Versimili... Vers... <laughs> I'm bad with this word. Versimili... Versimilitude? The appearance of being true or real. <laughs> well, it's a decent... It's a decent translation. Sometimes, you know, you just... Just don't translate things very properly. It just happens. Mm -hmm. uh, just trying to help. True to life. <laughs> True to life, exactly. I think that's the idea. The feeling of true to life. Like, RQ Authentic Chinese Restaurant is not what it says here, actually. This says... How do you say this? Dong... 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 Chan. Dong Chan is kind of like Chinese restaurant. And this is the name. And I'm bad at... I'm bad at... I know these characters, but I kind of forgot at this point. It also doesn't help that they're using Simplified, and Monkey doesn't actually know Simplified very well, so it makes it hard for me to recognize sometimes the characters. Mm -hmm. Broccoli mushroom. Oh, oh, wait, I have doubts about that shroom! <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if you should... If your mushroom has is red with little white dots, I'm not sure if you should eat it. Mm -hmm. I definitely want the tofu and the mushroom. Um... Let's see. We already have beef and some chicken and cabbage. So, let's see. Ham slice it says, but it says fire fire pig cut slice. <laughs> I do like shrimp. Let's go with shrimp. That's pretty good. That's 3 of 6. Mhm. Mm uh, but doesn't Mario eat those to become super? I trust him. Oh, I see. Oh, we gotta trust Mario. I'll try anything once, but that may be the problem here. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tofu and mushroom sounds good. I'd do sausage or shrimp, maybe. Mm. Um, sausage sounds good. Let's put in a sausage. Monkey's not a huge fan of actually fish balls and meatballs, though. They're popular amongst some of Monkey's family. Ham slice... I'm not sure what this is. I'm gonna look it up, honestly, because... What do they mean by ham slice? Because ham... Ham is Western. So it could mean anything when you translate things that way. Let's see, where's my Chinese keyboard? Huo. Huo. This one. And then... That's probably pig, huh? My guess, though it doesn't look very pig like. Because um, Zhu is just the one. Zhu is the one that I said goes in the house, I think. Zhu. Yeah. That's not right. Man. <laughs> I wish I could just copy, copy paste. Alright, I don't know what this is. That's okay. We'll just keep going. <laughs> My guess is it's a type of a uh, type of pig. Maybe they mean instead of ham slice, maybe they mean pig meat, like just pork. Uh, I just found a piece of glitter on my hamburger. I'm mad now. Who put it there? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Could be smoked ham with the fire in there. I don't know if Chinese people do smoked ham or not. Hmm, I'm trying to imagine. Some sort of cooked ham, maybe? Christmassy burger. Christmassy burger! <laughs> they just want it to be extra celebratory for you. Ryder, did you do this? <laughs> Was it you? <laughs> Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight possible choices. So, actually... I wonder if I choose less, they might give me more of that thing. But more likely, that's just... You can choose... Just don't... That means just leave out two things. Well, if we're only leaving out two things... If we're only leaving out two things... Then... 
I like potato, but it seems like a... I, I've never had potato in my... Hot pot. I'm not sure if I want that. Broccoli I've also never had in my hot pot. Feels a little strange to Moinky. And we already have the cabbage and these... Let's just get all the meats. All the meats. Cause it comes with the thing. No extra charge. Might as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sounds good to Moinky. Um... No, how could you be suspicious of a monkey wrench mod? I'm not the imposter. <laughs> oh, is ham according to my dictionary? Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, if monkey were to look things up in the dictionary, little by little I might be able to find it. But... Oh. Oh. Little by little I might be able to find it. But uh, it takes a little while. Actually, my dictionary says... Uh, says leg. Thank you for transcribing it, though. That helps a lot. Leg is what mine says. Uh, maybe in, in... Japanese? No, it just means leg or thigh. Leg or thigh. And then... Cut slice. Hot leg cut slice. Hi, <laughs> Tianzi. I was doing groceries, and guess what I bought? Ponji Kezo. Oh, one traditional and one with stuffing. Oh, I've never had with stuffing. What kind of stuffing? Mm -hmm. Or leg. Oh yeah, leg, leg. Play. I know this character actually. No wonder it was familiar. Uh, I'm thinking of how to put together a marketable Xmas dinner burger. Ooh, sounds tasty. Mm -hmm. All the meats. All the meats. Sell the recipe to McFeast and live like a king. A burger king. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Shattered, did you put glitter on my hamburger? <laughs> Who put glitter on Fold's hamburger? Ham is the leg. <gasps> really? Wait, is that what defines ham? I thought ham just meant pig meat. Is ham actually leg? Whoa. Whoa. Also, I'm now that I have this, I can look up the other characters in in a group. Maybe Chie. How do you write this? Oops. If I look up the other characters, aha, Huotui, Huotui. I think, I think you're right. Together with the fire, the I guess the fire. Huotui. Huotui is... is ham. Huh! Today I learn. Huot... Huotui. Is... Huotui is... Translate. Auto-translate. Is salted, smoked, fermented, and dry animal hind legs. Usually pig hind legs. Aha! Aha! Oh, ham from all over. Oh, Jinhua ham, Shuanglei ham, Wugao ham. Ah, there's actually a lot of Chinese hams. Mm hmm. I'm trying to remember if I've had any of these. I need to look at pictures sometimes. I need to look at picture. Picture, picture. But most of the pictures are of Western style ham. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So it is a cured. cured pig meat, though. Mm hmm. Oh, that looks good. Oh. Oh, okay, I gotta stop looking at the pictures. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. I will neither confirm my oh, nor deny my involvement with the pretty patty. <laughs> the pretty patty! <laughs> it's a kind of cheese, creamy. It's complicated to explain. Oh, that sounds really good. I will eat your tent then. Uh oh! <laughs> I wouldn't. It tastes funny! <laughs> I see, I see. French word is jambon. Pork is just from pork, meaning pig. So ham is pork too. Oh, oh, ham and pork and oh, how confusing. <laughs> Monkey needs to learn. I don't know all these these names what they mean. Then I will wash it before I do. <laughs> 
Seeing potato not included does make me sad, admittedly. Potatoes are a staple in my stew, so... Hmm, hmm, hmm. I've never had potato... I've never had potato in a hot pot. But you know, if, if everyone wants potato... I mean, we are the tea club. I'll switch out maybe meatballs for potato slice. Hmm, hmm. I mean, just because I've never had it before doesn't mean I, I'm not gonna try it. <laughs> Hold up. Chinese for potato is earth bean, and I like that. Yeah, yeah, tuto. There's a couple names for potato, but that's the one that's one of the ones monkey knows. Tuto. The earth bean. Mm -hmm. Earth bean is the new name now. I don't make the rules. It's the old name actually. You just didn't know. <laughs> uh it's like how sirloin and rump are still beef. Rump. Rump is a type of beef? And we pay a little extra to have meatballs and potato slices. I'll chip in, no. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that too. But I guess we're constrained right now. Uh, so oftentimes, they will have like an a la carte menu on the side that you can get. So we're getting the, sp house, the hot pot special combo. But sometimes they'll have a la carte and you can add more things. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll go with this for now. I'm happy with this. Let's complete order and see how... Let's at least see how the game actually plays when Monkey's not just looking at things. <laughs> yeah, rump steak. Oh. It's what you order if sirloin is too expensive. Oh, interesting, interesting. Earth bean sounds like it ought to mean peanut rather than potato. Oh, peanut in Chinese is... Hold on, I know this. Let me, let me look it up though so I don't... Sho, 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 sho. Peanut. Peanut in Chinese is uh, hua sheng, hua sheng, which is a flower life. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask me. It's just that's what it is. Hua sheng. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> flower life. Uh, and if the restaurant doesn't do flank. Oh, oh, these are all cuts and stuff, right? Monkey doesn't know much about cuts. I just eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> right, complete order. All right, all set. Oh, we made the order on our phone, I guess. Uh, where are Christine and John? Oh, they'd better be here before the food arrives. Yeah. Oh, messages. Oh, my phone's gonna die. Oh, okay. John, Christine, her. Who's her? It's still very early in the morning over there. She is definitely still asleep. Oh. I don't know who her is, but maybe a friend back in China? Let's talk to Christine and John. Hey, Christine. Don't forget to bring Momo over. I want to pet her so bad. Oh, must be the kitty cat. Hey, Bay, Sorry, I can't make it today. My parents are something, something. What? All of a sudden? I thought they were gonna stay at your sister's tonight. Yeah, I thought so too. But they said they missed me and decided to come to the city last minute, lol. I gotta go. Mom's calling. TTYL, Merry Christmas! Oh no! I missed one of the dialogues there, but I think we got the gist of it. Christian's gotta go. Her family last minute. Mm -hmm. Her. She's best friends with she. Oh! Japanese for girlfriend is also the word for her. Maybe similar here. Um, maybe... In Chinese... In Chinese, unless it's a, a new sl Unless it's a slang that Monkey doesn't know of, I don't think they do the same thing for girlfriend. I've mostly heard girlfriend as like new ponyo, which is literally girlfriend. They must have gotten it from English or something. Um, because... I guess having a girlfriend is kind of a European concept. Mm hmm. So I guess that's why they got got it from there, maybe. New ponyo. And then, other than that, you wouldn't. Nec but when you're talking to someone, you wouldn't call them that either. So I'm not sure. Mm hmm. Oh no. Oh no. I looked up raccoon on Google, and one of them is can a goose fight a raccoon? And what happens if you pepper spray a raccoon? Oh no, that's no good. Why do people Google this stuff? Who knows? 
Having people cancel last minute is sad. Yeah, it's sad. Maybe it's someone you have to keep in touch with, but aren't happy about it. You think so? It kind of sounds like... It's saying that you shouldn't contact her because she's still asleep. So it sounds like someone you might want to contact. And the icon is cute. And my guess is her... My guess is her is like a sister or... Or a, a mom. But it could also just be, as you said, maybe a girlfriend. But someone overseas for sure. Uh, it could be like him on Powerpuff Girls. I never actually watched Powerpuff Girls. I'm gonna head out, monkey. Oh, okay, Ryder. Well, have a good time. I'll see you next time. Hashtag <laughs> love you. Thank you, Ryder. Thank you, thank you. I should be finishing up soon. Myself. But uh, thank you so much for coming, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye, Ryder. Bye, Ryder. Him is like the devil, basically. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, let's read John's message. Or let's let's message John. Hey, John. Where are you? Food is almost here. Hey, what's up, bro? You should come check out this party. It's so dope. What? What about our hot pot night? Ah, uh, my bad, dude. Bubble tea on me next time. I gotta go see ya, XOXO! Oh, no. John is a flake. Why you do this to me, John? Why? Why you do this to me? I see, I see. Mm hmm. You know, going with the theme, going with the theme, I guess I kind of assumed the main character might be might be female, but it looks like the main character is a dude. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Not the theme. Going with what he was saying here. Usually you don't call females bro, but I think nowadays it can be okay too. Mm -hmm. Tell him why you do this. But also the sighing. Almost sounds like a lower tomber sigh to me when you hear it. I don't know if you can, if you notice the character main character sighing over their flaky friends. So maybe the main character's a dude. Um. Sa. Sa. As in, it's him. Oh. Someone's making food right now. I must go investigate. Brb. Oh, sounds good. Sounds good. John, my man. <laughs> My man John, why? Imagine leaving Monkey alone on hot pot night. Couldn't be me. <laughs> we gonna do hot pot. Mm -hmm. Dang it, John. I needed this. <laughs> this was important. Okay, I guess I'm eating alone tonight. I feel very happy that I have some really good friends. No, screw that. <laughs> screw them. Oh. I'm sorry. So sad. <laughs> I am so angry. Mm. How could they? That's a Charizard. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta be angry. Mm -hmm. John, please. John, please. I'm back. Oh, welcome back, folks. Yes, vent the negativity. Where there is pus. They're free it. Free it? Lovely crackers and cheese for now. Oh, thank you, Cheesecake. Welcome, welcome. We're probably gonna wrap up soon, but I'm glad you were able to drop by. Mm hmm. Call back and revise the order. No. The hot pot is all mine now. No revisions. <laughs> <laughs> they are making soup? Not yet, but soon. Oh, oh, the people who are, who are cooking near you. Oh, that's nice. Soup is great. Monkey likes soup. Could they? Oh, here we are! Oh, that they, they meant it when they said chicken leg. Well, let's see all our ingredients. Oh man, look at all this sad, lonely food. Wait, I can't think like that. It's okay. Being alone is okay. Being alone is not bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me celebrate this big dinner for one. More for me, right? All right, music on! <laughs> More for me! Monkey will eat all of this myself. There we go, some Christmas music. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe we put the table out... Well, this is... We should probably be eating on a different table, but maybe this is all we got. I need to heat up the soup base first. Okay, okay. 
I'm distracted though. I want to see all of... These are our enoki mushrooms. And our... Uh, this must be the, the beef that comes with it. The cabbage. This must be the ham slice. That looks like ham slice to me. And sausage. Um, this is the chicken leg. And uh, the shrimps. And what is this? Oh, this must be the potato slice. And uh, tofu. Our, our, our shrimp kind of got everywhere. <laughs> I think we kind of spilled a bit when we pulled it out. But that's okay too. Mm -hmm. uh, I am hungry for soup. Soup sounds so good right now. Nice and warming. Monkey is cold. Old Greek medical advice. I'm likening anger to infection. You have to let it drain or it festers. Ah, I see, I see. So much meat. Yes. Can I still look at my phone? I can. I can't scroll up though. <laughs> oh, I can zoom. Scroll. Oh, I can! Oh, great. Hey, Christine. Don't forget to bring Momo over. I want to pet her so bad. Hey, babe. Sorry. Can't. I can't make it. My parents are in town. Gotcha, gotcha. Glad I was able to read that. Alright, let's go back. You gotta turn on the hot plate. See, this is how you do it. You get a hot pot on a hot plate. Though it's kind of hard. Click on the knob to turn on the stove. I know, I know. I, I wonder how we were gonna fit all three of us around this this here. Maybe we would pull it out over there. And, and eat somewhere else. But since it's just me. We'll just make it simple and eat standing here, I guess. <laughs> uh, so much meat. Yeah, this is a good... This is a good restaurant. Highly recommend. Good value. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can parcel it out in Tupperware and save it for later. You can kind of. But the thing is... So this meat, for example, is raw. And the veggies are all raw. The only thing that's probably not raw is maybe the... The hot dogs might be, you know, already cured and the ham is already cured. But everything else is raw. So basically, you're just gonna have a lot of raw ingredients in your fridge. And those don't last very long. Chicken's also raw. Um, so... Most likely, what, what I would do in this situation is I would cook everything. And then just... Well, I would eat as much as I can as a normal hot pot. And then I would throw everything in at the end. And then just save it uh, as a stew for later. Rather than eating it as hot pot for later. Because the thing about hot pot is it's actually a lot to prepare all of this. Uh, and just, just at the end, just throw it all in and save it as leftovers. Is usually what I do when there's any leftovers. Um, and the soup also is delicious after everything's been cooked in it. Mm -hmm. um. Can I have some? <laughs> well, this is hot pot for one. But secretly, the whole tea club is here, so... Look at all those chilies. This is a spicy soup for sure. I can definitely see how this feeds a group of people, lol. May I have a bowl? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, usually... Not these bowls. These bowls are in the sink, so they're dirty. But usually you'd have a bowl of your own and your own chopsticks. And... Um... With traditional Chinese home-style communal food, you just use your own chopsticks and you dip it into whatever and you grab whatever using your own chopsticks. Nowadays, and especially maybe with COVIDs and stuff, people use serving utensils as well. But with shabu shabu, generally you just pick something up and you put it in and then... You, yeah, you eat it like that. And even though these are raw meats... Uh, first of all, they're fresh, so it's better than just eating any old raw meat. But also, since the water should be boiling, once I turn it on... Um, once it boils... Then you're also sanitizing your chopsticks when you stick them in there. So it's, it's not so bad having all this raw meat everywhere. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Give me some too. Mm -hmm. Hot pot is a great communal food. Mm -hmm. There's more chicken than there is space in the pot. Ah, you see, that is intentional, Mongoose, you see. Because... Maybe I should just demonstrate. Alright, let's demonstrate. Let's turn on the heat. There we go. Get it up to a boil. So when you're making hot pot, the reason it's all spread out like this, rather than as a stew... Oh, it's starting to boil. Ugh, is Peter throwing a party again? Where do he find all these people? How come some people are always so loud? Well, I guess I can hear 
my neighbors. So it's starting to boil, right? Once the... Once the soup gets up to temperature... Oh, look at that oil on top. Oh, that looks good. Then you can grab, like, a piece of meat. And then you put it in. And then you... Let that cook for a little bit. Go on. Cook. Cook meat. Uh-oh. I lost it. I lost it. Uh-oh. Come back! Oh! I didn't mean to throw that in. Oh, come back! There we go. So this is ham. This has been cured. It probably doesn't need to cook that much. Oh, there's the meat. Then you pull it out. And look, it's cooked now. Don't put it on the... Don't put it on the raw meat. And then you eat it. How do I eat in this game? I don't want to just throw it... Oh, I dropped the... <laughs> I dropped the sausage on the floor. Where's my bowl? How do I eat this? Help! Help! If I let go, will it eat? Oh... Wait, it says... Eat food! Okay, right-click to eat food. Right-click to eat. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, that's... That's right. I'ma eat. I'ma eat this too. Nom, nom. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want a chicken leg, you just grab one and you just put it in and let it cook. Get under there. You want to go... You want it to get all cooked, so you want it to go deep in there. Yeah. Ah! Go get cooked. And then you might wash your chopsticks a little bit in the hot soup. And... You don't need to put all in it, of it in at once. And that's why this communal pot works. Is everyone just puts in a little what they want? Oh, that looks cooked, doesn't it? Looks pretty cooked. Pretty brown. Then you just pull it out. And then you eat it. Come here. Come here! Monkey wants to eat you. There we go. Let's eat. Eat food. Munch, munch. Munch, munch. Yeah. And then... In the meantime, you can also throw in some things like... Oops! Ah! This is difficult. Throw in some things like some veggies. These usually take a little bit longer to cook. And throw in some potatoes. And where is... Where is... There it is. Throw in some potatoes. And... Some tofu. Tofu takes a while to cook. Um, just throw in some tofu. And then... Sausage probably also takes a while to cook. So we'll throw that in too. But in the meantime, we cook another shrimp. Shrimps are quick. Cook the shrimps. And then... Yeah. You want to be careful. If you put too many things in, in real life, the soup will cool down. That's no good either. You don't want the soup to cool down. These shrimps are interesting, actually. They look parboiled already. Usually shrimps are like blue-green when they're not cooked yet. Uh-oh, where'd my shrimp go? There we are. Oh, that looks t that looks edible. Come here. No, not you. Okay, I'll eat you. That's fine. Well, where's my shrimp? There we are. I want this. Give me the shrimp. Yeah. And so you don't have to put it all in at once. In fact, you're not supposed to put it all in at once because that way everything you eat is perfectly cooked to the right temperature. Just put some mushrooms in. Those can cook forever. There's a strategy to hot pot. <laughs> When you get hot pot, I highly recommend going with people who have done it before because there's kind of a strategy to it. But if you don't have someone to go with you, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. Just enjoy the experience. Uh, yeah. Where was I? Give me some. Oh, yes. Uh. Kinda ironic using date in the sentence where she brushes you off. I think she's trying to... I think she's trying to be... Be nice about it. She's trying to soften it a little bit like... Sorry, I'm sorry, you know? Because... Honestly, what are you gonna do if your parents are in town? In some ways, it makes a lot of sense to Monkey that... It's Christmas Eve. Her parents are like, we want to see you. Are you gonna say no? <laughs> and... You might say like, well, maybe maybe we can invite main character over, but maybe the parents don't like that. It's a tough thing when you have to choose between friends and family, right? It really depends on your own personal situation and your relationship with your family. So Christine, I understand a bit. Sometimes this kind of things happen. It's, uh, yeah, because they, they, the, her parents only told her last minute. Yeah, but but John though, John, why you like this? <laughs> He does... He's nice. He's trying to be nice. He's trying to say, hey, come hang out. But... 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 I don't think he understands how important this was to us. Oh no! I'm sorry. I threw things in the ground. I think they... 
I need to... I don't think we should eat those. Monkey has no coordination. Let's... let's not eat those. Those go in the sink. We'll, we'll... we'll trash them later. I don't know where the trash can is in this kitchen. I guess we could wash them. But I don't think we can actually... <gasps> Alright. Wash it. Wash, wash, wash it. Eh, eh. Uh... <laughs> eh. I'm gonna pretend that's washed. Let's put that in. Uh, I lost the other ones though. <laughs> they, they've disappeared into the sink. <laughs> okay. Turn off the water. Yeah. In reality, you have to be careful about making sure this is all balanced heat and stuff too. Um. Where was that? Oops, monkey nose. Ah! Hello, Shiver! Welcome, welcome! <laughs> you pooped the monkey? Uh, there's so much though. Should freeze half the meat, probably. <gasps> oh, that's a great idea, Best Squid. You have better instinct about this than monkey. Yeah. I think putting half of this in the freezer, that's a great idea. And then we can use it for something later. Because there's no way Monkey's gonna eat all of this. No way. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the meat is packing raw. Monkey Ramsey. <laughs> it is raw. It should be raw. It's good that way. Let's have another one. These tend to cook pretty fast, because they're cut thinly like this. Uh, that's a lot, even for three. Well, hot pot is... As I said, it's kind of celebratory, so it's meant to be a bit of a feast. Also... Nah, I take it back. This is a lot. <laughs> if we had more veggies, maybe it'd be more reasonable, but we got lots of hot things. Uh-oh. Uh, did I overcook the meat? Oh, I, I got the mushrooms. It's a little funny, because the cooked versions in this don't look like they were cooked in soup. They look like they were cooked on the stovetop or something, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh-oh. The meat's getting... The meat's getting dark. Come here. Come here. It should only go in for a couple seconds, but I... I can't grab it. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Um, look at all those chilies. The restaurant. Get all those chilies the restaurant. I'm a go monkey. See ya, have fun. I'll see you next stream. Okay, Fold! See you next stream. Have fun! You could never persuade my mom to eat this. She needs a cooking thermometer for medicinal charcoal. Oh, I see, I see. Did, did you eat the bone as well? No, no. I think I ate around the bone, see? Well, we'll do another one. You can see I ate around the bone. And sometimes you can eat things like the bone marrow afterwards. You know, I've never actually seen chicken legs in hot pot like this. I've never seen that before. Maybe it's a regional thing. But you can sometimes eat around the, the bone marrow, but I don't think you usually eat the bone of something like this. Um, I heard sirens in the background, not realizing it was in the game. Yeah! I guess it's supposed to be New York vibes. Mm -hmm. Let's eat the chicken. Munch, munch. See, there's the bone. There's the bone. And then afterwards, I don't know what we do with the bone. We throw it away, I guess. <laughs> uh, I wish to learn the hot pot meta, Lamal. <laughs> Maybe we can have hot pot together sometime. I guess this is hot pot together. In a way. Virtual hot pot together. Mm -hmm. By the way, the next guy who subs become 400th, dude. Wait, really? No, are we there already? Oh, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. 400? 400? Let me take a look. Are we gonna... Are we gonna make it during this stream? Do, do, do. 399? Oh, we are dangerously close to 400. <laughs> Bring parents to hot pot. Problem solved. That's what I was thinking. But you never know how people's families are. Maybe they don't wanna... Maybe they don't wanna try hot pot. Maybe they're... Maybe they're like, um... Mongoose's mom? Who's like, no, I'm not gonna eat anything like that. It's too weird, you know? And it's like, okay, well, it's Christmas Eve. I'll do what my parents want, right? Let's try some of this tofu. Mmm. Nom. Nom nom. All for me. Mm-hmm. 
bit more tofu. Um, Dawn is getting a cheaper present next year. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the adult bone disappeared though. Well, I imagined it's tossed away after you're done, but it was a funny image. <laughs> you might be right, Shatter. We never know. Oh, is there a piece of meat in there? Oops, I must have lost one earlier. Mm -hmm. Let's eat that. Always down for hot pot with no. Sounds good. Three ninety nine right now. Wow. Yeah, three ninety nine. <gasps> Put in some more potatoes. I think those can cook for a while. That's my guess. Have another shrimp. Uh, hot pot for one. How about hot pot for an entire tea club? <laughs> Change the cooking stream one, JK. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is true. Hot pot for one is hot pot with the tea club. Um, okay, I'll eat that. I was trying to go for the shrimp. Burp. Let me just have one more. <laughs> ah, it's that feeling. We've gotten... Got... Started to get a little full. <laughs> We have eaten quite a lot, but you want to eat more because it's tasty. Mm. Hot pot? More like hot not. Why not? Oh, I think you're at 400 now. <gasps> really? Really? Let's see. Refresh. Oh! <gasps> uh-oh. Uh-oh. 401 subscribers! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Monkey, Monkey's so surprised I choked. <laughs> thank you so much, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, thank you everyone. 400, 400. No way. <laughs> this was never supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, thank you so much everybody. Oh my. Now I'm gonna have to start playing the 400 sub celebration. And uh, the whatever punishment game celebration. And 300 subs still coming in two weeks. <laughs> we'll have a celebration. Oh, thank you so much, everyone. Wah! Wah! Winky never imagined this would ever be possible. Thank you so much. Not that it's weird. She's just super paranoid about whether meat is cooked properly. That's understandable. That's understandable. And it's kind of a cultural thing too. Some cultures do are very worried about that kind of thing. And I, I get that. Monkey is kind of afraid of raw meat myself. I don't do a lot of cooking with raw meat. Except for hot pot. Apparently I'm okay with hot pot. I guess it's a familiarity thing. But I tend to always I tend to always swish my chopsticks around to make sure they're sanitized and stuff. Whereas other people don't uh, can be a little more lax about it, I think. Rats on 400 and all. Thank you, Shatter. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Best Squid. Thank you. Ah. Da. 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 The, the par party popper. <laughs> Thank you, Mongoose. Congratulations. Thank you, Willow Meow. Mm -hmm. Hot not. In reference to Mongoose's mom. Ah. Oh, she not. She not gonna hot the pot. I see. Mm hmm. Pachi Pachi. Thank you. Thank you. Potato. As a celebration present, potatoes! Ah, oh, thank you, thank you! Oh, that chicken's getting overcooked. <laughs> pachi pachi, ah, oh, thank you, not a vampire! Thank you, thank you! Beef is usually safe, raw. Pork and chicken are risky. Ah, hmm, 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 hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, the chicken here, not gonna lie, these chicken legs, they give monkey an. A very strong feeling of gotta be careful with that. That's some dangerous stuff right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you all so much! Oh my goodness, 400! 400! That's... That's unbelievable. That... That's crazy. That's crazy! I don't know if... You guys know of the... Virtual YouTuber... Uh, fan wiki? There's a wiki... That... That... They have like... They have a... That they're the wiki of, of VTubers. But they they had last I checked they had specifications that said as an English language VTuber on YouTube, if you reach five hundred subscribers, you can be put into the the wiki. Which Monkey was like, ah, oh, that's never gonna happen. That's never gonna happen. So silly. 
<laughs> but it was nice. It's kind of one of Monkey's dreams is to be on the virtual YouTubers wiki. <laughs> but but now we're only a hundred subs away from that. That's incredible. I don't know if we'll if we'll ever make it there or not. But just being this close, I don't even know. <laughs> How did we get here? That's incredible. I'm so excited. Thank you all so much. Here's to 500 in the future. <laughs> maybe one day, Shouter. Maybe one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two of my favorites never made it on there before they graduated. Annoying rule. Mm, yeah, I understand though, because... Uh, VTubing really blew up in the past few years, right? And so, it would be a lot for them to manage since it's a fan wiki. That if everyone was able to get a page, mm -hmm. but yeah, hopefully, hopefully, let's make it 500 subs one day, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. And actually, with that, it looks like we are actually a little over the <laughs> half an hour mark that I was gonna give myself. So. I don't think there's a way to save this game. I don't think there's a way to save this game. So we'll just come back and play it again, because I do want to see how it goes. And it's it's Christmas season for all of December, right? Oh, I can zoom in. Oh, I can zoom in. What's this say? What's that say? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they want me to zoom in on the, the snowman, but he is cute. But yeah, maybe we'll come back and play this another time because actually I've been really enjoying this. This feels really... This is a mood from Wonky. I am done for now. This is a mood. Let me turn off the stove. Oh man, we're gonna get into story time probably. I, I, I need to... <laughs> Let's turn off the stove. Oh. What was that? Yes, no. I don't know what the yes, no is. Oh, there's the pot. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to stop here. Because, uh, yeah, Monkey's got to do some other stuff today. Which includes... I was trying to give myself time to actually put out stuff talking about... The 300 subs cut all okay, that's happening in two weeks. So... <laughs> let me, um... Let me go ahead and start... Start... Working on that when, when we're done here, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> For now, let's go to the comfy room. Mm -hmm. Ta da! Okay. First, the fan wiki, then the world. T Club Worldwide. <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. I don't feel Christmassy until the second half, usually. Oh, I see, I see. Well, in that case, our karaoke stream might be perfectly timed for you, Mongoose. I don't know if you heard, but Monkey's thinking about doing a... a promotional thing. <laughs> it's a silly idea, and if no one ends up... uh... buying into it, that's fine too. Monkey will be fine with it. But Monkey was thinking I could do... One dono is one Christmas carol. <laughs> and technically, it'll be December 15th on the day of my karaoke stream. So, that's why it's, you know, appropriate for the Christmas, right? <laughs> one don't know, one Christmas carol. And we'll see how that goes. If anyone donates. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for coming, Willow Meow. Thank you, thank you. Jeez, the fridge only holds one container. Oh yeah, you read that, right? Clean out your fridge. <laughs> well, you saw the fridge earlier. I showed you, right? I'll show you again next time we play. It is really full, but it's full of things that I don't want to get rid of, like tasty drinks and sauces and stuff. It's it's lots of good stuff in there. Mm -hmm. So I I understand. Fridge, uh, fridge. How do I call it? Fridge Tetris is a difficult thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the stream, though. No. Thank you for coming, Shatter. Mm -hmm. Always fun to chat with you to start the day. Oh, glad to hear it. Mm -hmm. I'm glad this time works well for you. Make sure you invite me next time. You've got a hot pot going, eh? <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. <laughs> Hashtag love tension. 
<laughs> Mr. Heart Monkey. Thank you, thank you, Shatter. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Is the hippo song available? Oh, the I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. That one? I do know that one, so it is available. <laughs> it is technically available. <laughs> Congrats on 400. You deserved every number achieved and even more. Oh, I hate you for being such an amazing person who's so welcoming and calm, making all of our days better. Hashtag love Jesus. Oi, oh, Hiki! Oi, oh, Hiki! You're too sweet! You're too wonderful! Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! <laughs> this isn't me anyways! This is all of you! This is all of you! You are all great! Thank you so much! <laughs> Little sister now... Ah, Dajanka! Hello, hello! Thanks for stream! Thank you for coming! Oh, oh, I didn't know you were here, but thank you so much for coming! Mm -hmm. For lurking, if you were lurking... Mm -hmm. This is why everyone in America has a second fridge in the garage. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. That's a great idea. More fridges. More food. Monkey is down. Mm -hmm. Thanks for a stream. Thank you, Nada Vampire. Thank you for coming. Oh yes, thanks for the stream. Thank you, Best Squid. It's always great to have you. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. These holiday streams are fantastic. Oh, I'm glad you think so, Rajanka. I know you're in the holiday mood already, right? You mentioned. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm not sweet. I'm just a boy. Wait, thank you. Spread it to me. <laughs> One of us ain't hinky. <laughs> but you are. You're a very sweet boy. Mm -hmm. I'm always here in chat. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> Well, it's great to have you, Najanka. And thank you, everyone, so much. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I got to start playing this game. And share with all of you. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm looking forward to playing more of it later. Mm -hmm. And I've been in holiday mode all week. Oh. And now that it's December, I'm kicking it into overdrive. Yeah, overdrive. <laughs> Your big brother is gonna be Santa. <gasps> Wow! That's cool! That's cool! <laughs> I look forward to it! I look forward to it! Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. I better start... I better start signing off. <laughs> and so with this... This meeting of the TNCT Club is now officially adjourned. Thank you all so much for coming! It's been a lot of fun and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Next week, I think, is a normal week. Yeah, next week I think will be a normal week. I'll probably stream around this time again. On Tuesday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. Alright, and look out for announcements for the karaoke. And for the Batsu stream. <laughs> and for the next... Well, I'll announce the next uh, 400 sub celebration. Oh my goodness, 400 subs. I'll announce that after all of this. Because there's, <laughs> there's going to be too much confusion otherwise. Mm-hmm. Thank you all so much. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for 400 subs. And thank you for being a wonderful tea club. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye, best squid. What's the stream I flew? <laughs> yeah, we've officially made it. We officially made it to... What's the stream unlocked? <laughs> we'll give it a try. Alright, see you next week. See you next week, Hemlock Lovin. Thank you for the stream. No, thank you for the stream. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.